Sorry, I fixed the light. No, no. Hi, welcome to Slab City Library Bar. We're having a f fucking chill session, and it's totally unplanned, and I don't give a fuck. So, Yay. join us. Wow, does that say nine people watching already? Oh, no, it says zero. We're at zero. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go yeah, to my I spot. I can't read from there. Huh. Lol. Okay, the light placement seems to be working out. Yes, yeah, And we'll just let people fucking find their way in. Yeah. For you. Oh, no, no, no. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's 12 people watching already. Whoa. Ahoy! <laughs> Welcome to the Slab City Library Bar, where we're eating fucking goddamn seven layer fucking tacos, and I'm drinking all the tequila and not sharing it. It looks kind of like this. <laughs> Ish. Where's what? the camera? There it what? is. <laughs> it's bomb! Yeah. So we didn't plan any of this. We're just we just want to say hey and hang out. Not plugged in. Um, it should be. Oh, sorry, it's not. Oh, that lol. There you go. Cool. Now I'll be able to help once it has enough Sweet. power to turn back on. Cool. Oh yeah, I better get in the chat too. Yep. So I'm gonna get in the chat. I can't see what you guys are saying from all the way over there. And Somebody said. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I love fucking goddamn taco salad. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. I love it too. Yep. It's <laughs> goddamn delicious. Delicious. <laughs> and uh Let's see where's my shit. Mm. My channel. Yeah, dude, this is really hitting the spot. I was like fucking cool. I'm glad. I was like so hungry I was starting to get angry about stuff. Yep. No Snickers in sight. <laughs> <laughs> um no, but uh I actually, one of the layers is uh, grilled onions and bell peppers, and I straight up stole Chipotle's recipe for that. Because I used to work there, so I still know most of the recipes. That's bomb. Mmm. Shenanarchy. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, I'm going to get in the chat without getting dip all over my computer. Oh, there's me talking to myself. Huh? Hey! Cool. Yeah, guys, sorry about the video quality. My fucking, um, my tablet kind of doesn't have the greatest camera. And my computer has an even worse camera. And my phone just kind of sucks for this sort of thing. I like, it's it's really zoomed in, like, this close to my face. And you, I'll, you don't want to stare, like, right into my fucking face the whole time while we're trying to chill and chill. I can uh, count my beard hairs. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what was the temp there today? Shit, I don't know. Pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad at all. It'd be like 92 degrees if I had to guess. I bet it hit 90 something. Ah, uh, Deborah says hi guys. Hey. Hello. Fucking aim. We can see you all right, no problem. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah, it's, it's just like, um, also it's low light. Mm. So the camera quality is just not going to be that good. Yeah. Sorry about it, but hey, um, I'm gonna do a shot. You guys want a shot, or you got your drinks? Um, yeah. May I have a beer instead? Yeah, you can have a beer. Cool. All right, you guys got all your shit. Okay. I got sea dreams if you guys want some. Then red wine. Awesome. Sweet red. Here you go, dude. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Were you able to get that wine bottle open? Yeah. All right, cool. Awesome. Oh, I'm just gonna drink straight from the bottle because I'm a fucking. There's savage. a bee in it. Oh fuck! I can't. There's a bee in it. Okay. Yeah, bee Ow. You know, if if I had to go, wait, that would chopsticks. be a way to go. I could probably pull it out with chat. No, I'm just gonna pour a shot like a fucking civilified Cuban. Uh, <laughs> I still don't know how you cut. Don't you say those yeah, cuss words at like, me? That's not sweet. How to get in there? <laughs> I might have just flown in by accident. Crazy. Just asking for it. They're good at that. <laughs> Steel Reserve Two Elevens. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan. I have drank many of them. Uh. But I, I do not like them. Steelies. Yep. Steelies are blackberry. I'm trying to drink a steel over one of them avalanches, though. All right, I found a corn-sized shot glass. Lol. <laughs> <No. laughs> All right, let's try this. Oh, oh there it goes. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> get out my drink. It was just trying to get you on the first one. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Peace out, fucker. Yeah, 
they're everywhere right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the time when they're just trying to build their nests and get all the pollen. Doing something. Yeah, I watched a drunk one no. full of pollen sacks crawl into my beer earlier when we got back to the van. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's like you got no room for that. All right, folks. Where'd Scott go? Scott, what are you doing? Scott. Oh well, okay. You can get you can catch up on the next one then. All right, cheers, you fucks. Cheers. <laughs> Andrew. What? Oh yeah. shit! I cheers. Mean, not paying attention. Cheers. All right. <laughs> All right. Mm. How's that? Ooh, that was good. Steel Reserve is horrible. Gives you a headache from just sniffing it. <laughs> Worms aren't good enough. They use bees now. <laughs> yep. That's great. That's so Alright. Oh, oh, my own phone is blinding me. Now um, that's a shot glass. You're right, Rachel. Um, I'm terrible at measuring acceptable shots. It's just mm-hmm. not one of my strong, shoot, strong suits. Uh, any crazy tours today? Hmm... Not really. Crazy. So we did some shit today. Well, we got some a lot, shit done. lot of shit done. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel very accomplished. So these folks back here in the dark are Travis and Sydney, and they're from Squat the Planet, and they've come out to help us out. And another couple of folks have been here as well that have been helping us out uh, these past few days. And it's been really awesome. We've been busting out a lot of. Uh, a lot of chores and a lot of work that we gotta do before we <coughs> do Cambo. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's looking uniquely beautiful here. It is. <laughs> um, you can come closer if you want. Otherwise, nobody's gonna be able to hear yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, and, uh... Uh, Rachel says hi to you guys. Hi, Rachel. Okay, I gotta get on this, this chat thing. Yeah, um, if you scooch in, there's an, if there's enough space oh. on that seat for two people. But now, you're gonna have to, yeah, that's not gonna. And work. they can look directly <laughs> at my eyeball. Uh, no, the camera's on the other side. Uh, <laughs> I'm technologically impaired. Okay, you might not want to scooch in that close then. Yeah, probably not that close. I don't know. Maybe they prefer to to hear me and not see me. Um, I can give you guys my seat and just stand. Oh, that's alright. Don't have to do that. I don't know. I might just stand anyway. Oh, where'd the yeah. words? Where'd the words really go? Word yeah. Um, yeah. you can move that out of the way then. I like standing room here at the bar. I don't know who put that chair there. Scott. <laughs> Scat. Scat. <laughs> He's like what? Yeah, the, the standing room at the bar okay. kind of reminds me of like bars at pop shows and shit. Like, yeah. Thing. Come on. Or are you fucking? Yeah. Sorry. What are you, what you want? doing right now? I'm trying to get onto our. Oh, you're trying to get on the fucking live stream. <laughs> oh, you hear yourself bitching two seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> How do I? Okay, live chat. There it I is. Love the delay. <laughs> All right. Hey, Matt's Matt's on. Oh, hey, Matt. Nice. <laughs> cool. Oh, question for the library. Did yeah. you get the Zen and Wicca books I sent from um, Rachel? I was in town today and I forgot to check the post office. So. Oh, mom. Yeah, that was the last thing so got <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but I didn't check. Um, I'll let you know if I, I get them tomorrow. I think I I have to run into town to get ice tomorrow anyway. <laughs> Yep. Hmm. And the day after. And the day after. <laughs> uh, well, especially on weekends, you know. Uh, Terry. Get a little better once let's see. Breaks a little bit more, I suppose. Terry Wise wants to know what do we do when we encounter a black spider in the desert? Kill it. Yeah, usually. I mean, always. Depending on what kind it is. I just kill it. Unless it's a tarantula. I like mm. tarantulas. <laughs> oh, Matt doesn't long. recognize any of the bar. Uh, um, that's because we remodeled Matt. We hired a, a architectural firm <laughs> and uh, flipped everything upside down. Um, Matt, the the I have that tablet you gave me, and it's hanging from the picture on the wall, like kind of next to um, over here is where my bookshelf is, right next to the tablet, mm. and then this is facing out. So the entrance of the library is right over that way. Yeah, it's actually doing pretty good. That's the, the western section. Yeah, right I was say it's the western rack you're all looking at. Yeah, I was going to do it at a different angle so you can see all my baby doll heads and stuff, but um, I was too hangry to assemble that, so mm-hmm. I just gave up when I did the thing the uh, other way. Feeling good now, though. Nice, you've got... Mm. Dude, yeah, I've, I've been fucking using the shit out of it. Oh, yeah. But the... the so video reversed. I don't know. 
typing is kind of fucky, so I, I can't really have, like, very good conversations on it. That's why when I came into the STP chat during the summer, um, I was having trouble, like, communicating with you guys, because, uh, yeah, the, it, it got all fucky. But what? it works for everything else. I'm trying to push a T and it gives you a W. Yeah, well, what happened is I'd type in a word and, like, fuck it up and then go back to erase, but instead of erasing, it would just add the word again. Uh, so then it was, like, it was, like, insulting to me because it's, like, <laughs> you fucked up this many times and every time I'd try to, like, you know, erase it again, then it would just, like, compound. So then it would just say, like, fuck, 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 over and over again to, like, uh, misspelled. Good enough. Send it. And then I'd just, like, have to give up. <laughs> send it. Send it. Um, let's see. Terry. because this is a bar now. Okay. Oh, oh Andrew, you can come over to this side if you want. Oh, yeah, that would make more space. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you come over here? <laughs> okay. I think I'll do that. Matt, hey, guys. Always been two sides. There's... Hold my beer. Watch this. No. <laughs> Run, Jeff. Do some magic. Um, Matt wants to know where you two are from. Iowa. Iowa. They're from Iowa. Uh, I'm Salty Crew on, on uh, Squat the Planet, Matt. Uh, the one that hopefully is going to do some sort of like mechanical workshop uh, when we do get the yeah, jambo going. So <coughs> that's who I am. I'm Travis. This is Sydney. Yeah, we're happy to have them. They've been helping out. Um, and there's two other SC peers that are here as well. Um, Jarrell or Jarrell. I asked him which pronunciation he prefers, and he says, I'm going to fuck. <laughs> Give a fuck. So, <laughs> is there one L or two L's? It's two L's. I would say Jarell. Jarell, then, yeah. yeah, that's what I said, but I didn't want to sound like a dick if I got it wrong. Um, and then um, Jen, and they came uh, to, together, and then together. Jen's boyfriend just showed up today, too. Yeah, that's who that was. Can I run yeah. this cord Is he still along here, then? this nail here? Right? Yes, dude. Yeah, he's he's here. They're chilling, probably at their camp. Cool. I don't know if I even told them that we were live streaming tonight. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, you want some? Mm -hmm. More wine! Okay, cool. Fuck yeah. Oh, let's see. Uh, Florida Scrub Life says, how hard is the ground to dig out there? Sandy or rocky? Yes, both. Yes. <laughs> um, I have to project your voice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, can you guys hear me all right? I don't know. Yeah, can uh, you guys hear everybody okay? Like, just just wondering. Because I, I don't know. I know my voice is loud. What about you guys? You want to say something? Uh, I talk pretty loud. Here, I'm way in the back. Can you guys hear me? I'm way in the back. They might not be able to see you. Well, I can see him. Yeah, they can. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see him. I can okay, see cool. Big fat ear too. You can see me. Look at my ear. Good. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Orange wine here. Here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So where was I? Oh, uh, how hard is the ground to dig? Uh, in some places, it can be pretty hard. Uh, it's both sandy and rocky, and a lot of it is clay. Um, I have not tried to grow a garden. Some other people have. I have. You have. Yeah. Um, it sucks. Gardening in slabs fucking sucks. Yeah. And I hate it. <laughs> but a yeah. lot of people have been successful. Um, and if you were to do a garden, it, it you know the best way that I've found to do is like hanging gardens because that way the pests can't get at them as mm. easily. But in the summertime, um, that's not so good because um, with the you know, your pot hanging in the air, it gets warm all the way around. It doesn't have that insulation from the ground. And also, any sunlight hitting it will just kill your shit instantly. It just dries it right up. Yeah, sunlight hitting roots especially is terrible for it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, Ty asks, would you recommend purchasing a bus? You know, dude, that really depends on what you want to use it for. Um, yes. Some people <laughs> buy buses and they don't realize... How, you know, like, there, there are definitely challenges to having a bus that people don't really talk about as much, but I love it, and I love my bus, um, and I like the length of it. Super perfect. Yeah. Yeah, actually, when I got mine, uh, I kind of based it on, like, what I was looking for was something similar to yours, because I like the size of it. It's, like, uh, it's, you know, good size, not too long. So oh. I'd still be able to drive it pretty easily. I mean, I suppose a short bus would, would do it for a lot of people, but what I don't like, the short bus compared to, like, Cornelius's bus and, you know, even longer ones is mm -hmm. the ground clearance. You get so yeah. much more ground clearance mm -hmm. when you go to, like, a full chassis bus. 
bus really? versus the short bus. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Totally. Huh. And that's a big thing for me anyway, you know, driving on back roads and there. stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, ground clearance yeah. is important. Definitely. Hmm. Another thing about buses is that, like, while they do run good for a long time, when you do have to make uh, certain repairs, it can be very fucking expensive. Um, like, fucking uh, doing an oil change. Uh, we uh, fucking got my oil today, and I don't know exactly how much it costs, but it's like six gallons of oil. Um, tools for working on the bus, you got to get big ass tools, and those are expensive as well. Mm hmm. Mm. Scott is asking if I'm going to do the same thing next summer. If you're talking about uh, going to Alaska, um, you know, I don't plan more than a season ahead of time. My current plan is to be at the library for the duration of the winter at least, and we'll see how things go from there. Terry Wise wants to know, what kind of money do I have to pay to have such a vehicle? Oh, I just kind of talked about that. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hey, Scott. Would you be willing to go grab that tobacco? Oh, gosh. Mm, here, you guys can share this if you want. Okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, that was a kick down from earlier today. Oh, cool. I must have been busy working. Um, Ty, uh, solar panels, fucking, it, it's not any harder to install solar panels on a bus than anything else. I mean, I did my setup myself. Oh, thanks, dude. I'm just going to put some of this stuff aside. Yeah, I'm going to munch on this a little bit later. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, munch on mine, too, but it's, it's cluttering everything. Mucho delicious. Mm. Yeah, it's just... Mm. Yes. Yeah. Miz, uh, yeah, I'm very fucking serious about building trebuchets. Oh, yeah. Um, it's going to happen. <laughs> I say, you were talking about that earlier. Yeah, we, we've been talking about it. Uh, yeah, we're, we're all about weapons, especially like, um, you know, medieval and primitive weapons that we can actually build out of salvage and stuff that we find. As well as... Uh, other weapons, but yeah, we're, we're kind of all about that type oh, yeah. of shit out here. We, we're definitely in a couple of siege, <laughs> siege engines this this year. Uh-huh. Well, we had uh, this kind of joke that we were going to build a trebuchet and then launch uh, shit over to East Jesus with, like, notes taped to them. <laughs> yeah, mostly books. We'll stuff, <laughs> stuffed animals. We can launch all the romance novels that we don't want. We can, we can launch our remaining 100 copies of Health Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh man. Oh yeah, what uh why was your day fucked up, Matt? <laughs> and they could turn it into art. Yeah, they could, probably would. Yeah, they probably would. They would create like a monument to all the books we've lobbed over <laughs> across the slab <laughs> They glue them together in the shape of a trebuchet. Oh, <laughs> but dude. A smaller one than ours. <laughs> uh fucking mm. Uh, let's see. I've been back from Alaska two weeks now, almost. Uh, yeah, in two weeks exactly, because I got back on uh, Friday. Oh, yeah. All right. Happy two weeks back anniversary. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Your boss got fired today. The company offered me this job for his name. Well, Matt, weren't you bitching about how your jo your boss was kind of an ass anyway? Like, I mean, that's good that they had the sense to wow. employ somebody that is good at what they do, uh, you know, but like autumn. I mean, I, 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 I'm sure you don't enjoy being in a cubicle any more than <laughs> the rest of us would. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Did you say his boss got fired? Yeah, his boss got oh. fired, I guess. Hey, Onk <laughs> says you're cute. Hey, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Andrew's a pretty attractive gentleman, huh? Fuck. I, I try to be a gentleman. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I drove the bus back. It's here. 
I was gonna, um, I have a bunch of footage from the drive back. I know I talked about this last week and I've just been so freaking busy since I got back. I haven't had any time to do any editing, but there is a bunch of footage uh, waiting to be put together. Looking forward to it. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be a really good winter season. Yeah, Matt, that's really good to hear that you'll be able to get out sooner than planned. You know, just keep your eyes on the prize. It'll end soon, and very soon you'll be sitting here at this bar, getting all crazy and telling us cool stories and making us laugh and stuff. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, well, there's there's a lot of people who are excited to see you here. I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah, I saw. Matt that. says, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the like, uh, poster over there on that wall? <laughs> <laughs> Our next, our next live stream video. Nah, nah, that probably Facebook would, pro or not Facebook, but freaking YouTube would probably not like it if we titled a live stream "Sucking Matt's Dick." <laughs> <laughs> they Actually, might, I would totally, like, I would totally clickbait? put that up on my YouTube. Is that clickbait? <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> next, next live stream "Sucking Matt's Dick." <laughs> Did you get a whoa out of him at least? Uh, he says, ha, 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 ha. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Achilles is asking, oh, Amanda, thanks for the shout out. Fucking rock on. Um, and Achilles says, would you rather live in the slabs or some middle class day job boring life? Ooh. Clearly I'm doing what I would rather do. Yeah. I've done all that before. Yeah, man. that's it a, sucks. That's a Quit sucks. the system. Yeah. Quit. Sucks. It's compelling. Says OMG. It's raining in Los Angeles. I'm drinking and dancing and watching a bitch in live stream. Yeah, that's pretty rare. Never, never rain did there. the rain dance. Yeah. <laughs> Probably more than here. Anybody else drinking tequila? Just, just wondering. Ah. Some sweet Viking ass. <laughs> What? Matt says he's gonna get some sweet Viking ass. <laughs> um, you can try. Is that a booze? Is, is that mead? <laughs> is that is that a brand of mead, Matt? Mm. Oh man, we that should. That would be an awesome mead brand name. It would. Sweet, sweet Viking, Viking ass. ass. Get some. Yeah. <laughs> At your local CVS. Yeah. Or or, or across the street at Walgreens. Oh, Scott's in Minneapolis. It's 38 degrees there. Yeah, Scott, I just looked up the temperature in Minneapolis earlier today. It was like 35 this morning. Wow. Shit. People in uh in the <laughs> Discord, uh, uh, STP Discord chat were fucking talking about like, oh, it's so cold right now. It's like 52 degrees. And I'm like, <laughs> suck it, dude. <laughs> in Alaska this summer, it was like between 40 and 60 degrees the entire summer. And one time it got like 75 degrees mm -hmm. in... Um, in Fairbanks, oh, and people were like, "Oh, hey, there you go. Oh, hey, it's Jarrell, or Gerald, Gerald, or Gerald. Either Gerald. Either Gerald. Yeah. We're on a live stream right now. Yeah, Say hi. wave. We're, right we're on live stream. <laughs> we're at. We're at. <laughs> on the YouTube's hidden. Yeah, that's another STP here. Hell yeah! It's it's starting to be a party. Okay. It's getting there. The season has PBR? officially kicked off. Oh, so oh yeah, go for it. Um. The, I think, I don't know if there's any PBR left. Oh, no, I, I put some more in there. I should add some more. Oh, where'd you go? Here you go. Oh, oh. Ah, ha, ha. I'm, I'm in the live stream now. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm cool. I just, I like being halfway up in the shit. Oh, right. Not all up in the shit. <laughs> What is an STP or well, Ankh Atum? Is that how you say your name? Sorry if I mispronounced that, but um, it's smooth. STP stands for Squat the Planet, which the library is very affiliated with. Um, we host members of the forum, and oh, thank you, Matt. Um, and uh, you know we're kind of a kind of an outpost, and, and we work closely with Squat the Planet, uh, and we're all on Squat the Planet. So I mean, I guess there's a lot of yeah, it's a lot of uh, I guess I don't know what the, what the right term for it would be. I tried to post partnership, the uh, affiliation, affiliation. I tried to post the mm -hmm. link, and not only did Matt beat me to it, but my uh, my autocorrect 
instead of squat the planet, it said uh, square pan. Square pan? <laughs> Where is that? I want to see it. Send it. I didn't type it because I was, I was trying to do a link to the squat the planet. <laughs> Is it hard to find a place to live in the slabs? No, it's not. It's the open desert. You just find open desert and you plop your shit down there. Um, the the finding a place to be isn't the hard part. Actually, existing here is the hard part. Let's see. Hard to find a place. What do you think about life in Alaska? I love Alaska and I definitely want to go back again. Uh, one of my life goals is to spend a full year in Alaska. At one point in... Uh, um, in a cabin that I built myself. That'd be nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh hey, uh, Ankh, Adam. That's really cool, actually. We have a, a cat that's named after the Egyptian goddess Paket. Because uh, she was the first of our kittens to make a kill. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Richard? How you doing? Ahoy. Mm. Yeah, if you're going to go gold mining, uh, Alaska is kind of a good place to do it. Mm. Hmm. I've never been gold mining, I don't think. Uh, yeah, a lot, it's, it's popular, especially, um, I mean, everywhere across Alaska and Canada in those remote northern places. Mm. Uh, that's what a lot of people do for yeah. their occupations, oh, hunting, yeah. uh, trapping, and mining. Mm. Uh, we have WKM a is a gold prospector. That's pretty cool. Where do you prospect? And uh, Terry, we have a we have a PO box that we get mail at. Oh yeah, um, here well, let me post that. Okay, PO box. Probably faster than me. Six four two. Oh hey. Ireland, California. Hey Brian from Ogden, Utah. Ogden. I've been through Ogden. No, no, I haven't. It was Provo. Uh, Provo was pretty cool. Scott was there with me actually. We didn't like Salt Lake City much. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, how's it going, uh, Roseville Engineer? Glad to see you. Yeah, a hundred people in here. Cool. Nice. Party yeah. out, and those who do it get a little. My viewers hate me drinking. You guys are so nice to the others. Uh huh. Hey, from San Diego. Yeah, all right. Fuck yeah. Oh, Rachel, you do the cauliflower crust, too. I, I love that. Um, I actually made some pretty badass pan pizza because our oven doesn't work yet here. Because um, me and Andrew were really craving pizza the other day. And I made a, a bomb gluten-free crust. And Andrew's not a glutard like I am. So... I eat the glutens. Yeah, but you thought it was all right, right? It was Utah. fucking awesome. Fuck yeah. It was bomb. Like, it had a perfect... Uh... Perfect consistency, in my opinion, for a pizza crust. Like it was, it was thinner than a, a regular gluten pizza crust that I'm accustomed to. Mm. But the bottom was nice and crispy, and the rest of it was was um, doughy, like I think a pizza crust should be. I was listening to how you were making pizza, yeah, and you said oh. you make it thinner so you can flip it. And yeah. I was wondering how you well, make pizza. Thanks like for that answer, iron. Rachel. That's a yes. Thank you for that answer. What was that? Oh, uh, somebody yeah. asked about a subject that we don't talk about. Oh, uh, okay. Anymore. Yeah, there's a few of those. Um, somebody asked a question that I wanted to check out, and I can't remember what it was. I'm scrolling up here. Oh, it wasn't a question. It was Virginia Woolf says, you are one of the first people that I ever watched on YouTube to me. And I think that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, what is the temperature here? Um, can you look at that thermometer right there? Oh yeah, there is a thermometer there. I got a flashlight yeah, somewhere yeah, if you I need it. Oh, there's a lighter too. Oh, yeah, 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 you're prepared. We are like right at 80 degrees right now. Yeah, right. it's about 80 degrees right now. Not bad. It's not bad at all. It feels cool awesome. off. It is. <laughs> it feels awesome. The walkthrough was better in the dark than it was in the light. <laughs> mm, yeah. WKM Studio says all Cordelia's all Alaska 24-7. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would, be a, that would be a crazy channel. <laughs> do you still have a bunch of footage from, like, the way back and stuff? I do, yeah. I was talking ass. about that earlier, yeah. and I still need to put that uh, video together it's about, totally like, good. getting back down to here. But during that time, I was so, like, 
burnt out on uh, editing and making footage. And also I was driving like a fuck ton and busking and trying to hustle so I could get back down. So like, I just didn't have much time to think about all that and put it together. And then since I got back here, I just kind of hit the ground running and we've been, we've been just going nonstop. So it's, uh, you know, yeah. All right. Rain and thunder in Compton. Cool. <laughs> Uh, Rachel, yeah, I'll definitely do more Alaska in the future, um, but my thing is I don't plan more than a season ahead at a time. Huh? Raphael says, where's the weed? Um, I don't know, when you bring it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really dry right now. I'm, I'm a fucking constant pot smoker, and I haven't smoked a whole lot at all in the past week. It's kind of shitty. Yeah, nobody... Shit, one of the people in slabs that normally has shit tons of weed, uh, to the point where his nickname is Slab Graham, <laughs> uh, messaged me on Facebook like a week ago. I was like, hey man, do you know where I could get some weed? So <laughs> that's, that's not good. Yeah, no, the, if, the, if the, the, the supplier is asking me, who is not known to be a heavy smoker at all, mm-hmm. like where, or heavy weed smoker anyway where he can get weed, or if I had any, I could sell to him. That's kind of a dire situation regarding Weird. regarding dryness of, of vices or whatnot. <laughs> yeah, they need to like put something in the trolley or something. That'd be sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Kelly says, do you go to dispensaries or supplier? Um, we get weed however it comes to us. <laughs> We're not particular. Uh, hey, Bruce, how's it going? Uh, Bruce, what uh, what's your handle on STP? Oh, some another STP here? Yeah, uh, Bruce McIntyre. I don't, I'm not sure what his handle is. Thanks, Jack. Hey, hey, thanks, man. Weed is legal here in Canada, finally. I know, it's so cool. Sweet. I was just going through there, and um, while it is legal, they were telling me at the border... Um, you know, if you have weed, we're still going to, you know, fucking fill out a bunch of paperwork and take it away from you. But, and then smoke it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then smoke it. Exactly. Yeah. You know those sure. fucking Canadians. That's, that's what you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a, I think that's a UK accent. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Can I... How was going some... through the going through the border there I, both I times? Some weed, eh? They give you any flack anytime either way? You got any of Rachel, weed's weed? still not legal in Wisconsin, huh? Oh damn. Uh, I remember yeah, I remember how shady that is, dude. That sucks. I don't think I don't think Wisconsin's any sorts of medical or uh, I think that might be medical, but you can still Alright, Onk, you fucking you deal those drugs. <laughs> yeah. We're uh, voting on medicinal in November. Fuck yeah. Anybody who wants to is more than <laughs> welcome to, to send us things. Yeah. I mean, we'll accept whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll, we'll accept drugs in the mail. P.O. Box don't care. P.O. Box. Dude, okay. Oh, mm-hmm. I shouldn't tell that story. <laughs> nah, that's a no, good not story. Ones, yeah. No, never mind. <laughs> uh, Terry, we get a we get a PO box just like anywhere else. There's a post office in Nyland, about four miles from the library, ish. Yeah. Um, Matt is asking, how's the range this year? It's actually pretty good so far. It's been pretty slow because uh, it's the early season. Hmm. I went the last two weekends and blew the lid off of it. You know, that was fun. You know yes. how I do. Yep. True um, story. Yeah, <laughs> um, that but, gal in the all white was pretty decent at the first start of it, though. I liked a couple of her jams. That I don't know good. if I saw that one. You were like there, but then you left, but then so maybe you did miss something. Oh, like, that was during last um, week I'm talking about. Yeah, a friend was having uh, some trouble and I had to go for a little bit. So I think I Peace that. out, Jack Pumpkin. But then thanks, for, thanks for joining us. Up. See you later, Jack Pumpkin. All right, let's see. Cornelius is my favorite YouTuber. Thanks, WCAM Studios. That's very, very cool of you to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, WCAM Studios also says your Alaska song was so cool. I agree. Mm-hmm. I, I really <laughs> love that song. Yeah. True story. Thanks, guys. I, uh, I'm, 
I'm working on writing an album. Uh, I've got a lot of songs written, not finalized. Problem is, um, and I know I talked about this last week, but um, my notebook, I left it at that crusty house that I was at in uh, Grants Pass when we did that cool music performance live stream. And they have it, it's safe, but, um, you know, they've, they've got a lot of, uh, you know, shit doing mm. over there. So I don't know. They said that they put it in the mail, uh, maybe like a few days ago. So we'll see if it shows up. DA wants to know if there's another way to send uh, some money via the internet because PayPal is not working for them. Um, the DA, you could friend me on Facebook and send it that way. Or you could just send, like, physical dollars to my P.O. box, which is something that some people prefer to do because a lot of my fans are, like, 100%, like, anti-system and they don't want anything to do with all that. Yeah. So uh, I'd recommend money. Like a money order or something, though. Yeah, so you can go to the cash. post office and buy a post office check. Yeah. And um, then you send it through the mail, and then I get it, and then oh. I bring it into the post office. Oh. DA says she has me on Facebook. Um, does that work? I mean, it could. Well, yeah, then... Um, it would definitely still benefit the library. Yeah. I mean, if you want to use think, that for crew. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the Facebook money transfer takes a couple of days. No, it doesn't. It's doesn't. instant. Oh, it is? It's oh, fucking shit. instant. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Which would wow. be great, because uh, we've really been struggling. You still, that YouTube money... Um, that uh from last week no from like weeks ago oh, oh no from oh, before yeah. i even got back to the library um oh, yeah. their payroll whatever the fuck i don't know how finances work but their payroll shit doesn't go you know doesn't turn until the end of the month so there's 300 bucks floating around that i earned on youtube or that was donated and you know through ad revenue and shit um that I can't access right now, and it kind of sucks, so, I don't know, I'm a little bitter. YouTube is a pile of shit. Yeah, agreed. Mm-hmm. But it's the best way to reach all of you, so I'm willing to navigate the shitty underbelly of fucking garbage capitalism fuck asses to fucking hang out with you guys. Yup. So, you know, that's, that's how it is. Best thing and the worst thing. Mm. Yeah, but you know, it's it's good to be able to network with folks and all that. Yeah, Richard, the range is very active every Saturday night. So, to you guys, what are you all up to? Where are you? Can you guys it's tell Friday me? Night. Yeah, like where are you, where are you do like hanging out? What are you doing? You want to tell me? Cause, or us, because we're all curious. Like, yeah. where are the fans right now? How many viewers you got right now? I can't see that far. 2 p.m. in Australia. I have a day off, so I'm having a beer and a smokable medicine. Pissing rain here. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Brad. That's, it's Australia, uh, that sounds chill. I've always it's wanted to visit Australia. John McGee says drinking. Squat the Planet says Walla Walla, Washington. Aurora Rule says I'm making jerky in Mississippi. Hey, I love jerky. Jose says, how are you? I'm fucking excellent. Um, Gary Skaggs says, drinking weed, smoking coffee. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's good. Yeah. Right. Fresno, California. I've lived there. Yeah, I get love. Yeah, I get love. Oh, I was just in Fresno to uh, visit um, Engineer Lupo. Uh, I forget what his name is on here. Um, but yeah, that, that was fucking fun. I was out there. It's pretty, uh, pretty humid in Fresno. Oh, man, we're getting a lot of comments. You guys are doing some oh, shit. Yeah. Can't read them Buffalo now. playing FIFA, listening to you awesome guys drinking a beer. Oh, hey. Fuck yeah. Chan the Chinook, I think that's really an honorable thing. What did he say? Uh, or what did they say? They said... Uh, the underground Neelix. Oh, that's, yeah. that's chill. Like, that's very I, cool. I don't agree with uh, intravenous no, drugs at all. We don't we do not do the hard drugs no, here, but that's very I'd, cool. I'd rather see people doing like free exchanges for clean needles than people like watch people reuse their needles because people are going to do what they're going to do anyway mm. you know so i'd rather like i'm all in favor of like legal like injection site places you know um it's a weird concept but it almost it's, seems like 
the problem or whatever the whatever exists already so yeah you kind of gotta deal with it i guess in some way shape or form but well, yeah people to, are human exactly, yeah exactly. exactly that's what i mean i mean like, it, it's it, it already exists so you know uh, yeah so i mean like i said people are just gonna do what people are gonna do like if somebody wants to shoot up drugs they're gonna shoot up drugs anyway you know, so I think it's much better for them to be able to go somewhere and get clean needles yeah. than to just, like, use one that they picked up out of the gutter or some shit. Right? And I, I feel like treating people like humans instead of goddamn animals is always good practice. Like, one of the main reasons that people turn to hard drugs is because they're depressed with how fucked up the world treats them and, you know, their shitty situations or whatever. And, you know, the comfort that they can find is in that. And there's no reason to continue feeding into the negativity and the destruction surrounding that. Correct. Yeah, I, I agree with, with Rachel as well. Uh, she says, I'm all for clean needles. I'm also for legal, unionized prostitution with benefits and 401ks. Mm -hmm. you know, sex workers are just that, workers. They're fucking humans. You know? And they provide a valuable uh, service. To dark society somebody yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah to somebody you know I've, I've had a lot of friends over the years who are who are or were sex workers in some form or another mm. you know uh, i actually dated a woman a couple years ago who was a, a, a dancer at a gentleman's club um and she she kind of hated it but uh, the reason she became a dancer is because she wasn't making enough money as a, as a waitress to pay her rent you know um and she made a lot better money I can imagine. Uh, as a dancer. I can imagine. You know? It was funny, though, because I'd, I'd go in there to visit her, and, like, on her breaks and stuff like that at, at work, and uh, all her coworkers would just come sit by me, and I don't really dress very nice because I don't have nice clothes. <laughs> I mean, I have more nice clothes now, but I didn't back then. And so I would walk in looking like a bum or looking like some dude that just got off, you know, working a... a some agriculture job or something and all these all these girls would come and sit at my table and you'd see these old like creepy dudes like pulling out their money and like fanning themselves with it and trying to get their attention and they're just yeah. like no we're gonna sue andrew because he's cool and he's not gonna creep on us right right <laughs> you know for sure no i just that all comes back down to the fact that that's them having laws and rules against that is just mm -hmm. them telling you what you can and can't do with yes, yourself. Exactly. You know, and that's just stupid. It's like a seatbelt ticket. You know, why is there a law against you wearing a seatbelt? Well, what fun does that fact: affect? I fucking you never wear my seatbelt unless <laughs> there's a cop nearby. I mean, yeah. it, that affects is literally nobody but yourself. The fact that they can protect you against yourself is no good. That's, we we yeah. fucked up. We need to reset this. Yeah. Okay. I'm all in favor of reset button in yeah. the form of... Uh, or at least we think this. Big red button that says nuke them all. <laughs> uh, including myself, because I'm still a human. So ah, I just shut the power off. It'll all attract it. Yeah. Oh, uh, Brosif, I agree with you. Uh, sex workers are no different than massage therapists. No, I, I totally agree. Yeah, that's that's good, Brad. I'm, I'm glad that you have that, that point of view. Like, yeah, thanks for that. It's, yeah, it's, it's it's encouraging. You know? You guys run by the Dewey Decimal System. Fuck no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. No. We're goddamn anarchists. We, we run by the... the Genre. Put a, put a book in the right shelf or get yelled at. <laughs> or get yelled at. <laughs> uh, and I am excellent at that. Um, I mean the getting yelled at part. <laughs> this is, this is learning, I'm, I am the curve. best... I'm the best getting yelled at her here. <laughs> Like, nobody can get yelled at here better than I can. <laughs> you actually, you are very good at handling when I fucking get all butthurt. I'll be like, what the First fuck is this? And I'm just like, good at being yelled at. you are like, oh, that's no big deal. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice. WKM in Alaska. They don't know how to grow weed, I very much disagree. I, I disagree as well. Uh, I think Alaskans are been. very good at growing anything. I've, I've had some weed and from Alaska. I brought some fucking weed down from Alaska, and it's incredible. I'm more of a more of a connoisseur when it comes to weed. Like, I'm, I'm not an everyday smoker or anything like that. But I know the difference between good weed and shitty weed. Oh, guys, this might be a little bit of a hot topic. Uh -oh. But Achilles is asking, what are your views on Trump? 
kidding. <laughs> fuck politics. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Ooh. politics, they said, though. Okay, yeah. I'm no. glad they added that. I think that if you know anything about us, you know exactly what we think about yeah. Donald Trump. <laughs> Pretty sure. And we don't need to go down that fucking rabbit hole because that could last all night. Yeah, although if anybody gets their hands on one of those fucking stupid-ass MAGA hats, please send it to me. Oh, no, has got one. Send us MAGA <laughs> hats. Okay, yeah. guys. Every one of you that yeah, steals a MAGA <laughs> hat from a fucking asshole and mails it to me, I will give you, like, rewards. I think, I think that would be worth one free beer. I think that... At least. I want to come up with, like, okay. It might be so hot when it gets here at the it, library, we have, a, we have a game in Slabs. We take weapons away from people that shouldn't have weapons. And every time we do that, that's a point. So, um, a few people have a couple points. I have a few points. Mm. Um, so, I feel like maybe... We could, we could, I don't know. You we'll come up with a reward. Maybe take, like a custom trinket or something. If you steal a MAGA hat from a fuckwad and mail it to me, I will mail you something glorious back. You don't know what. It'll yeah. just be good. No, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, I personally would like to have a MAGA hat because I'm pretty okay at stitching and embroidery. And I'm going to take some of the letters out of it. Uh, I'm going to take the, uh, say, Make America. I'm going to take the R out. And I'm going to take the E out, and I'm going to take the T out of the word great. And I'm going to replace the T with a Y, and I'm going to replace the R and the E with two more A's. <laughs> so that it says, make America gay again! <laughs> Very good. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, one of, our, one of the people that comes out here and stays um, has a hat that says make America a wasteland again. Oh yeah. That guy's, yeah. That guy's yeah. cool. I like that. Yeah, give us our land back. You're native. <laughs> what? Very good, very good. Uh, Touche. Oh, Chan the Chinook says they got a piece of a pro front flag. They ripped off a Nazi in Berkeley. You want it? <laughs> We could start a, a wall of shame. <laughs> you want it? Or something. I like that. You want oh, man. Want See, it? Achilles, you started us down the rabbit hole. All right. Oh, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, obviously, you know what our politics are here. Um. <laughs> oh, Achilles. Oh, man. The politics yeah. here are great. Well, you, you opened a <laughs> can of rabbit holes yeah. full a can, of worms. A can of rabbit hole worms. Rabbit worms. <laughs> worm, worm, worm rabbits. Worm rabbits. <laughs> yeah. And they all live in, in cans, in holes. I think the politics here are great. Ooh, Everything, this... uh, everybody oh, hey, Sergeant Shadow. What, what bums are you referring uh, to? That's for Sergeant um, Shadow. Because, yeah, hey, Sergeant Shadow, I'm not sure if you got out of here or not, but you see this fucking shit? Semper Fidelis. I was a United States Marine. I fought for this country. And go fuck yourself. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Seriously, go fuck yourself. Because that motherfucker in the Oval Office is destroying yeah. my goddamn country uh -huh. that I fought for and almost died for. So, uh, fuck you. Yeah, eat it, you fucking snowflake oh ass guy. motherfucker. This guy's a vet, too. Yeah, fuck mm. ass. Oh, that <laughs> shit. Ooh. No worry, he's hidden now. He can't. I'm gonna go get some water. All right, uh, you, you go get some. Hydrate. You go. That shit sets me off. All right, well, all right, man. <laughs> hey, Breathe. yep. You're good. He opened the can of worms. Let's see. Hey, Ben Inya, nice to see you, too. Oh, nice. <laughs> that video was pretty sweet. Pretty Somebody sweet. just said, fuck. <laughs> hey, see you later, Rachel. Nice to see you again. You want to come hang out? Do you want to come closer? Only if I can have a shot of tequila. All right. All right. I Deal. said I wasn't going to share with Deal. nobody, but I like you. Did you hear that? Yeah. This one's all right. And I love tequila. Oh, good. Because nobody else seems to. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I like it so much. You all right you now? Got yeah, silver. I'm good now. All right. The only thing you got to know about tequila is you got to buy silver, not gold. Uh, I kind of agree. I like gold. Don't I get me wrong. Gold. Don't get me wrong. Um, these it's are the ones the that I already chomped. I'll just go chuck day. those. This one looks okay. I just want to see the delete message. Did you find your water? Yeah, I got some water. <laughs> so it's uh, salt lime tequila, right? Yes, and the salt <laughs> is right here. 
Have you ever seen that episode of Sunny in Philadelphia where where they're like, uh, you need to get Dennis so drunk. Shouldn't and, have opened the worms. Andrew needs a smoke. Uh, <laughs> Here, Andrew. Uh, thanks, thanks for thinking of me, Corey. I appreciate that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, seriously, though. Uh, I'm a little salt because like, obviously, I'm like we could that. do like a whole special. Oh, yeah. Politics. I'd rather not, though. Yeah, we're not. Cause me to have a. That's like. We're, we're not trying to get drunk on Rage Hall. We're trying what to get drunk on alcohol. It's like, yeah. come on down and have a conversation if you're thinking that. Of course. Getting this place put together, we don't need to tear it down. And then... Word. Um, can I, do you want most of this? I just want sure. a couple drags. Oh, shit. Punk and Drublick, I love your name, um, uh, your username. And yes, I agree. Punk, punk and Drublick? Yeah, that's one of my... <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's, that's like good. the, uh... So the guy who's a Marine, I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm proud of him and happy to live in a country with guys like him. Yeah, dude, honestly. I appreciate that. Fucking, uh, here at the library, we have uh, a lot of veteran friends uh, that are real fucking badass. And they're a huge asset to our community. I can't. can't So we fucking, we're so grateful for them and their expertise and skills. I'm saying, silver's way better than gold. Yeah. Tequila and I are not friends. <laughs> oh, Corey says I'll bring some beer and tobacco my next time around. Corey, I miss you, dude. You yeah, know, yeah. He, he, he've been away for so long. You're you're a cool dude. Oh, uh, let's see. Cheers, Richard. Hey. Mm. Mm. Uh, hey, thanks, Anthony. Uh, Anthony Jackson says, Much love, Drew and Corn, my faves punks. Hell yeah. We eat what we want. We do what we want. <laughs> no gods, no masters. I was just true. I was, I no bedtimes. Fun of an Apple Jacks commercial. Oh. Yeah. Do they still make ch- those? Ones? I don't know. I, haven't, I don't know. I don't really eat a lot of cereal. Dog Journal's got to make some, something close. Yeah, maybe. Something close. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. They, I haven't seen still, any Apple Jacks. Sure they still have them on the market. We're pretty, we're pretty cereal kind of serves. We like kind of, we like cereal. Uh, Patrick Clifford, um, ha ha. <laughs> Lol. Oh, I get those all the time. Yeah, it's always like the same place. sad sacks, and the only thing they say is like, "Get a job, yeah. or you're a loser." Uh, I had this one guy who, um, hey, actually, thanks, thanks, Timothy. I know. I had this one guy <laughs> who fucking went to every single one of my videos once, and on each one he made a comment and it just said loser. On every <laughs> single that one. That takes a lot of time. That's, I have, it actually, <laughs> it, 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 it had me l- laughing all morning. <laughs> I would have commented back on every one of them. <laughs> yeah. Just to blow their shit up a hundred right. times. That too. takes a lot of time. Uh, oh, lot Achilles of time. You got wants a lot of to send liquor in the mail. Please do. Is that is that? I've I've it? actually had. Fun? I don't know if that's legal, but just don't mark it and have it say on the box like liquor yeah. for Cornelius. Like, <laughs> you're you're <laughs> definitely allowed to send cologne through the mail. Um, just yeah, saying. they can't tell and they won't smell it or anything. I've had fans mail me um like little shots and uh, fifths of booze in the mail, and mm. I always greatly appreciate it. Mm. Airplane bottles oh, are awesome. Scary. Yes. Oh, no, that's cool. Um. Yeah, I like I like good Irish whiskey. Uh what's my Personally, that's 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 my favorite go to when I when I buy my own booze. I'm down for the Irish whiskey as well. I just gotta be oh, careful for the shit. gluten. Oh Achilles <laughs> they said name the bottle. Okay, challenge accepted. Um Slain Castle. S L A N E. Slain Castle Irish Whiskey. Mm. Nice. Uh it's way better than Jameson and it's actually made in Ireland. In, in a legitimate castle. Have you had, uh, like, Tullamore Dew? I have. That nice. one's very, very excellent as well. Yeah. Uh, this is but American. I'm Slane a... Castle is my favorite. Yeah, I've never far. had that. Oh, it's awesome. Off Tullamore the top Dew's of my head, though. I would be craving Belay bourbon, but not the rye, because mm. that's gluten. Yeah. The green one, then. Yes. Because, yeah. That's a, that's a popular shit. It's pop. It's just off the top of my head. Like, right now, would I, I, what would I want to drink on the rocks? Like, that would be it. Yeah. No, this this uh, Slane Castle though, like it's so smooth. It is the smoothest whiskey <laughs> I've ever drank. Nice. Uh, 
It's stronger than Jameson, too. I'll have to find a bottle of that. I haven't seen it in California anywhere. No? Sure. I, I had it last when I lived in Boston. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, Thanks, Kiri. Thank yeah. you. I, I really exactly. appreciate that. Um, what do you think? Or uh, what did they say? They said, uh, if you got it, uh, said, you got it. If it's at my liquor store, I'll send it. Good folks. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Just trying to light up. Light it up. Alright, that's on the side there. Okay, I'm gonna go try and find a shot glass for you. Yeah. Right Aren't there still some right down here? No. No, they're all full of sand. Let's get a drink. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Did you get a lime mm. and everything? I think I, I just dipped my lime in the salt and then took a shot. <laughs> you and then you're drank proper whiskey? Do you have it still? Get it. <laughs> no, I. Done it. Uh, let's see. Peach SJW is slabs getting crowded this time of year. Not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, it probably will. Uh, in what? I don't know. Like a month or two. So, um, by uh, by Halloween is when everybody wants to come out. All the all the mm -hmm. nomads and stuff and the snowbirds come out for. They show up for Halloween through Christmas, and that's when it's real popular. And it is popping during that time. There's like thousands of people here during the winter time. I bet. Come on out. Hell yeah. Yep, yep. Give it a whirl. Yeah. No hey. worse than what anybody else is doing. Trolls. Trolls make me laugh. Except, uh. the, except the ones that somehow... Tell Push Matt to get on that. Just the right button. Matt's on it. Cha, 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 cha. He's, his, Matt's, Matt's doing some fucking digital, samurai digital shit. Digital shit. Digital samurai digital shit. Swords. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's yeah. slaying okay. trolls left and right. Hey, uh, I just put some so of the time out on IT guy YouTube around. for the first time. Good job. Ah. High five. Yeah. Yeah, you done it. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah. What'd you do? I put somebody on time out. Oh. Because they kept Good. saying stupid shit like, oh, I need a woman. I'd rather have a woman or, or rather than a pizza. Blah, Man, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> how, stupid. Like, how much of a sad pizza? sack? Like you're on pizza. somebody's live stream being like, I need a chick. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's kind of pathetic, honestly. Like, like the definition of Go fuck yourself, yeah, dude. So, I don't know. How I, could you neglect pizza? Yeah, yeah so I just put the dude on time out. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Go sit in your corner and pray. Yeah, yeah go pray. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe to get a female pizza or something. Like nah. That. Yeah. <laughs> Do they make female pizza? No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's, the point. That's the goose chase. That's the goose chase. Uh, I want, yeah, I want lol. a vagina pizza. <laughs> oh, oh man, you have to find a specialty shop for that. Yeah, right. I think that falls probably under the category of our, our previous subject about <laughs> sex workers. Yeah. I would, I would definitely pay somebody to eat a pizza off their vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. There's there's a market for it, dude. You can. I mean, that's a valuable service. Oh yeah. People get drunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to eat a pizza off somebody's vagina. Ah, alien. Hey, alien. What's up, dude? <laughs> he says. He says. Slab City Library fucking rocks. I love veg pizza. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, alien. How's your new camp coming along? I heard you moved. I, I saw a little bit of where you're at from the road. 2K was telling me a little yeah, bit about it. We're watching all of that. Uh, <laughs> the IC, the IRC bully says, where are the drugs? I don't know. When are you sending them? <laughs> Mail don't oh, run. dude. Brad says the margarita is the clitoris of pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, margarita. <Well. laughs> Fuck yeah. Glad to hear you're doing well, alien. Mad Mac, you can buy me pizza anytime, but it's got to be gluten free. No, so no that's, glutes. That's Glute. the, that's a trick. Glute, glute, glute. I'm a I'm a tough customer. Uh, East Jesus is an art community that's um, across town. Across town, yeah. Uh, it's about a twenty minute walk. Sounds about right. A lot longer if you're super wasted. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, and in the dark with no flashlight. Yeah, it's a longer walk than it seems like. Uh, yeah, it seems like it should in the dark yeah, yeah. when you're fucked that up. Should. Oh, that's thank good. you for the link, Matt. Oh yeah. Hey, Matt, didn't wait. Matt designed that. Website. That's what I was gonna say. I thought I thought Matt was the one to put that one together. Mm -hmm. It's a really good website. 
Richard says you should all have t-shirts that say Slab Nation. Actually, I was looking into getting some t-shirts that say Slab City Library, so I can. Uh, I think we should. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put we that should. on my. I'm I'm gonna bring back the Amazon wish list. I've been working on it. Um, I don't. It's it's not done, and I don't know what the link is right now. Uh, mm. But I'll 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 link that, that in future videos. Cool. No, I put it out. Oh. oh, I forgot that I was sharing it with you. This is all you. Okay, here you go. Cool. Oh fuck yeah! Right on, right on, Matt. I, I, uh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen the the EJ website, and it's it's really well done. Like, it is I cool. Was, I was quite impressed by it. Ha! <laughs> Next week's live stream: sucking Matt's dick. <laughs> Bouncing on blah, that dick. <laughs> back back, 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 and Matt. <laughs> this hour, Matt. Fuck it. That's all you. Lime it up. That's all me. He says. Go for it. There's some salt. There's Post. some limes. Oh yeah, I just recently introduced Andrew to that uh, that other YouTube channel you showed me. And that's fucking great. That's this, good. This guy is so hilarious. Yeah. I, he's become a role model for me because uh, <laughs> Wait, that is another I, channel. I also hate Ted Cruz. I think he's the Zodiac killer. Matt has another channel. No, no, it's not no. Matt's channel. Uh, he just introduced me to a hilarious. Uh, uh, it's a comment. Hey, video. Roger, how you doing? <laughs> You'll have to show me later. It's fucking hilarious. Uh, the, Sweet. Matt, he's like the guy Matt. that types all these troll messages to Ted Cruz on his Twitter. Yeah, that's yeah, it, common man. etiquette. Yeah, and then he goes and post. <laughs> that's Andrew's favorite part. <laughs> it is. It cracks me up. <laughs> oh my god! Like, At Ted Cruz. <laughs> it's like it's like courage. Huh? At oh Ted Cruz, go suck <laughs> Matt's dick. <laughs> and post. <laughs> God damn. The suspense. Good night, That's no funny. Matt Terry. Super fi. Have a good one, dude. All right. Yeah, Ted Cruz is is a fucking kind. Of, whoops, I didn't mean. To, I, I'm trying to. Whoops, I'm trying to show it. Pompey and Drublik said Ted Cruz is a kind. <laughs> and I accidentally hit I accidentally hit it. I'm sorry, punk. Uh that that was an accident. Here, let me how do I show it? Um yeah, I don't know how to reshow it after I hit it. Um but yeah, he is a slimy motherfucker. Yeah, he's gross. God damn. What a fucking piece of shit. He ate a booger on live TV. He did. Just slurp it right off his face and like munched on it. During a debate, it was fucking some... disgusting. Ugh. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. That was disgusting. Ted Cruz, but you still have those little boys in the trunk where you tell them over and over, Bush died 9-11 over and over, which is... Good night, Christopher. But why you need to beat it into him? And post. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, it was fucking gross. Oh, man. There's a fucking, what is that called? A super deluxe video. Where they just have it like real close in on his face, where it's like hovering on his oh. lip, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. so nasty. Oh. <laughs> Jose Pop Sanders asks, "What's on the bar menu?" Well, what's on the bar menu is what's on the bar here. Yeah, tequila, uh, cigarettes, wine, beer, 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 yeah. beer. Yeah, this yeah. live stream brought to you by alcohol. Yeah. And hating on Ted Cruz. <laughs> this live stream brought to you by Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone should, if you have a Twitter, you should go troll Ted Cruz right now. Yeah. Tag it, tag it. <laughs> um, we'll definitely get some new viewers. <laughs> uh, Achilles, it is, it's very dry here. Very, very dry. <laughs> Punk and Drublik, yeah, me too. I, I throw up in my mouth all the time when I when I hear about these these. Fuckwads. Mm. Oh. The key is to not listen too much. Mm. It's like in spurts. You just oh like man, I saw the video. Corn showed me the video of that fucking meetup between Kanye West and Trump. Yeah, it's all over the news everywhere. Oh my god. I made a joke it was, about it. Oh. It was <laughs> Kanye just got dumb. That. <laughs> it was dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know how we even randomly came across that. But then all of a sudden it was all over the radio when we were like walking back and forth listening yeah. to the radio and shit. It was all over the radio, like not even AM, it was FM shit. It was on FM. You know you know what I think hasn't gotten enough attention in mainstream media is the fact that uh, fucking boofing was on 
uh, Brett Kavanaugh's, like, high school calendar. And I always thought that boofing was, like, way overused by travelers. But now that it's, like, a, a thing that was on, like, this guy's fucking calendar while he's, like, crying on national TV, <laughs> it, it's, <laughs> it's funny again. Corey says, Kanye needed to use the presidential alert so everyone could know he isn't a gay fish. <laughs> so isn't that a South Park joke? If you guys want to, if you guys want to piss off Republicans, and I've been doing this all week, <laughs> showing them pictures of fucking Brett Kavanaugh boofing shit <laughs> and crying. Yes, yeah, I, I made a shitty, a shitty thing on MS Paint uh, that made Ted Cruz look like a baby because I found a picture <laughs> of him like this. Yeah. And so I like I copied and pasted a fucking clip art like baby nice. bottle and a little bonnet on his fucking head. Nice. And I posted it to troll these motherfuckers. Clip art still exists. Yeah, that's yeah, so the thing, yeah. That's awesome. I miss clip art. <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh <that> booth shit. <laughs> <Tumblr. laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Satanic Botanic 420 ask, what the fuck is a boof? Boofing is when you put stuff up your butt. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's, it refers to flashlights? No, it, that's not what it but refers to. But the flashlights to. comes from putting stuff up your butt. So, uh. in, in, uh, like, <laughs> traveling in rainbow culture in the last few years, it's become really popular to say, like, if you boof it, it's free. Um, <laughs> and that's kind of like a running inside joke, which I thought was overused until this whole, like, the, you know, the whole thing. Yeah, now. But- now it's extra it's super funny. Yeah, thanks to like, thanks to like, inflation. Whoa. Now if you boof it, it's only half price. It's not just alcohol <laughs> up the butt. It can be like anything up the butt. You know, you can boof it. You can you, boof a pizza. You can boof anything if you're brave enough. <laughs> if you're brave enough, I like that. <laughs> Alien says a very enlightening experience. Um, uh, what what do you mean? Damn, Kevin, Alien, a drink. like. Uh, <laughs> was was boofing an enlightening experience for you? I wonder if Kavanaugh would show us his butthole if we asked him to. Uh, <laughs> if enough people asked him to, yeah. <laughs> it's majority, right? <laughs> Butt chugs. Uh-huh. Well, oh, just to prove it. Just Scott, prove Scott, no. No, no, no. Icy hot. No, boofing just don't. Icy no. You Why don't you make a video of really, you boofing some Icy Hot? <laughs> you really, really fucking brave to do that. Oh, man. It's icy, it's hot. Butt Camp was funny as fuck this year. What the fuck is Butt what Camp? What is Butt Camp? Butt camp. I've never thing. heard of it. What it's is not that? It's a thing. Can't be. Okay. If it's a thing, then that's crazy. <laughs> okay, this guy again. Which one? Gary Skaggs. Skaggs. I missed him. Oh, he's been just trolling all night. He was the one who was talking about it. doesn't have a woman in a pizza. Oh, well, you could boof the woman and the pizza. Right? Yeah. And then you'd be scot-free. No, don't go to butt camp. I don't know what butt camp is. What is butt camp? <laughs> Tell me what it is and I'll go. <laughs> oh, Matt says he'd show you his butthole, but he'd be sobbing about it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, man. You people are crazy. Yeah. You want to do a shot with me? <laughs> do a shot with Dudes. me. Dudes. Oh, man. Somebody earlier butt in the camp. chat was like, oh, the shots are already getting What the alien. fuck is butt camp? I don't know what butt camp is. <laughs> I want to say that. No, nobody who explains. Is, who posted somebody. it? Who posted uh, it? Uh, that was a satanic botanic. Somebody, people. please explain what butt camp is to me. Because Why it don't you look great. it up on the internet? Get the it sounds yeah, I'll, I'll look it I up. I like butts. I'm going to look it up. Butt camp. You gotta boof the shots of Larry Butt camp. I'm in denial. I'm, okay, I'm, Andrew, I'm in turn denial. Okay, Andrew, turn around. I don't like yeah. tequila. Well, maybe your butt does. <laughs> I doubt it. No, no. Butt camp. Funny gay workout. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> I say you're gonna get a it's crazy on, amount of It's on Is me. this a porno? <laughs> it's starting out strong. We got some... Uh, this, this is a porno. We got a couple of dudes that are all hey, ripped and they're naked. shirtless dudes. There's yeah. some, there's some <laughs> serious commentary. Sure. Going some on here, some booty shorts. They've got some tight shorts and they're doing butt workouts. Oh. <laughs> Those look like good workouts, though. Yeah, with, the, with the butt boys. The butt boys. They're the butt boys. But hey. it's like 2015, Man. and that's the shorts are from like the 70s. Though. They really work. <laughs> Sounds like a no, camp guys, for butts. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Know, I I mean, this looks like a good workout. Look at these butts. <laughs> it's a really good I'm workout. sure they're yeah. fit. They, they yeah. look fit. <laughs> they do. I mean, if. Yeah, I, I can dig it, man. I can't All stop right. watching. So, 
to the but, to the guy with but, the butt camp but, comment. But, then. but 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 <laughs> but camp. They got dog tags. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll that was it. good. Okay. At least it was only like okay. no, forty-five I'd, seconds. I, was, I, I like would that. I would go to butt camp. I would go to butt camp. Yeah, totally would. That looks like a good time. As long as there's go karts. They're, they're, I don't know. They're my it favorite. looks like there's mostly chairs and hot muscly. Yeah, hey, Achilles. <laughs> this, I don't think this chat went sideways pretty at all. Short I think video. it went exactly how it, it's meant to go. This chat went sideways, man. You need uh, to hang out here at this bar. She gets so much weirder. Oh yeah, no. This this, this is the PG version. Yeah, this is the YouTube friendly <laughs> version, so that yeah. Warren's channel doesn't get fucking deleted. Um, my channel <laughs> gets fucking fucked with all the time. But it hasn't been deleted yet. It hasn't been deleted yeah. because it's not like, I mean, yeah, I mean. I'm not like a Nazi or anything. If you ratchet and you know, clap. Okay, sh hide. I don't know what that what? is. Okay, you know what? Shit gets weird. Yes, we it like does. it that way. Hell yeah. Oh man, you you've yeah, been here for shit getting weird. Yep, yep. All of you guys should come out. Who all of you have the ability to should come out for the 2018 Squawk Plant Dirty Scouts Jamboree Woo! next November month. Mo November 9th to yep. the 11th. It's gonna be fucking. There's epic. gonna be like a lot of us here, yeah, being weird, and it's a lot of fun. And, and we have workshops. Are we also? Are we still planning on doing a live stream from the Jambo? Uh, At least. One. Um, I mean, that was a tentative plan. Okay, I'd mm -hmm. like. I'd like to. But yeah, like a brief moment would be sweet. Uh, Nevia thirteen sixteen. No, we do still it. have prom. Yes. Yeah. We do still have prom. Does that go on at the range? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. Right on. Yeah, Corey, I'd love to see you oh, out here Oh, fuck yeah. That. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, shit gets real weird out here. And, uh, yeah, I like weird. God damn, shit gets weird. Yeah. Oh, man. I thought you guys were taking shots. I did already, and I'm gonna take another one. All right, let's do it. My first Which means first of Yeah, somebody early in the chat was like, "Oh, those shots are already affecting corn." Well, hey, guess what? Like 20 minutes ago, this was full. So you literally, know, fucking. Uh, <laughs> boof the shot. Boof right. that. <laughs> All right. Cheers. You got, you got salt. Got I got some salt. Cool. Which first? Shot, Which you lick the salt. Yeah, take the shot. Mine. Bite the lime. Salt, shot, lime. This is an educational video. It's now. Yeah, yeah, now it's yeah. You need to we know. Should, this should be on PBS. Yeah, we should re <laughs> redo it. And that's yeah, it. This it's is a PBS special now. brought to you by Slap City Library. And boofing. And boofing. <laughs> All right, Excuse ready? me, no right. butt camps Cheers. allowed? I disagree. Cheers. I would go to butt camp, Jose. And if you don't go to butt camp, you're a square. Well, well he needs to look butt camp up then. Yeah, Jose, go look up butt camp on YouTube. <laughs> Just do it. Jay says, boof the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Boofthepanet.com. Uh -huh. I have an idea for more trinkets for the uh, for the Jambo. Little, little custom souvenirs. I don't Ooh. like balls in my butt. <laughs> it's a PBS fundraiser brought to you by boofing. <laughs> <laughs> totally is, though. Uh... <laughs> Navia, Na, Na, Navia 1316, awesome. what should yeah, I bring? Um, great. Mm -hmm. Go get on uh, squattheplanet.com slash fest, really and uh, we've posted a list of gear that we believe is essential for being out here. That's, um, that's, Jesus. that's the quickest, easiest answer I got for you. Yeah, squattheplanet.com slash fest. Squattheplanet.com slash boof. I, <laughs> that's not the link. That's um, not. And I, <laughs> I just uh, put up a list of yeah things like at the very basic level that you need. Yep. Um, but it's it's like camping, you know, bring yeah. stuff that you would for camping. Without yeah. power and water. Well, we have power and water here, and during the party, we will be um, offering those things to our house guests. Right on. That are from Squat the Planet. Right yep. On. Yep. Oh, what are we dressing up for Halloween? Um, um, I don't know. I might just go as myself. Cause that's, that's I'm going to dress up as a hobo for Halloween. Yeah. A bunch of pirates. A <laughs> uh, hobo butt pirate. <laughs> See you later, Roger. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, 
Cisco, you're you're gonna dress up as Trump. You're gonna get your ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a hat. You can't be Trump if you don't have the hat. Well, I, I'm just gonna <laughs> film it and laugh. Like. Yeah. Nevea says I'll bring lots of 420 and drink. That's a good way to be very popular here. It is, yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, no. I, uh, Navia thirteen sixteen earlier said uh, I'm staying at the library, dude. Well, if you're here for the jambo, most people are going to be staying near the library. Um, we're setting up some some campsites that are pretty close. But we don't have, like, beds or anything. Like, we're not a hostel. We have temporary camping areas for during the party. And afterward, for people that want to stay, um, you know, if you want to stay with us, you, you kind of have to prove yourself as crew. Mm -hmm. And, you know, nothing personal if it doesn't work out. It's just, you know, we're a community yeah. and we're, you know, it's, it's like a tribe. Yeah, and not every space is right for every person, you know. Right. Yeah, and you don't, I mean, you know, you can still participate in the library whether or not we end up hosting you here on the premises. There's plenty of other camp spaces. Oh, yeah, it's a big desert. It's really Very versatile, big. and it's what, what you decide that you want to do as well. Like, you know, if you just want to come in an hour every couple days and work out, uh, work on stuff, that's totally cool. Or if you want to, you know, be more hands-on mm -hmm. and have more to do with what we're doing here that's cool too it's just, it's in a case-by-case -case ba basis we're yeah so, we're a community uh and west lawson we are at the um, slab city library van gogh bar inside the slab city library yes that's where we're at can i grab some more of that thank you what do you need yeah go for it man <laughs> you're from a different country thank you <laughs> now uh is Texas land sometimes? I don't have any clue what he's talking about. <laughs> Even though you're from Texas. I'm from California. I grew up in Orange County. Oh, that's My right. driver's license is Texas because that's where I'm right. staying when I got it. Gotcha. Um, I've, I've stayed in Texas. Brave. The transgender Alex Jones channel. It's a greasy up. hippie oh, armpit. Right. Like I don't it. even know what that is. Okay, the transgender Alex Jones channel. I mean... I, I don't, but I'm sure some people do. Somebody here probably does. I Alex mean, if that's what you're, channel? if that's what you're into, Alex Jones. Oh. I think it's a troll channel, but it's yeah, a Alex Jones channel. shit got deleted. Yeah, I, I I'm not surprised. Did it really? Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, for now, I mean, there's rumor Good. that it was coming back. But what guys says Jeff Buckley? I don't know how to answer that question. Um, he might have meant to say what's up, guys. What's what's guys? What's guys? guys? What's guys? Guys, guys <laughs> is is guys. It's like you dudes, you bros, man. Yes. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows that. Uh, somebody says let's spurge the slabs on how purge. I don't know what that means. Let's purge. Let's purge. Okay. It, it, purge. What does that even mean? I mean, uh. What does that even mean? I'm I'm not sure. Wasn't that the movie Venom starring Trump's kids? says, gotta get that armpit hydration. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. I'm a California living in Texas. It's not cool. Oh, dude, Jeff Buckley, I hear you. I grew up in Orange County, but uh, I was homeless in Houston for a little while. Uh, I've also been homeless in Austin. Um, and I much prefer Austin. But the, the biggest problem with Austin is it's surrounded by Texas. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, she has a gangster way of getting things done. I don't know Did you ever make who it you're to talking the beach about. Down there? Like Corpus Christi or anything? No, I've been to Galveston though. Yeah. I wouldn't get in the water. I refuse. I refuse. Can't get in the water. Really? Yeah. Because it's Titanic for twenty for twenty says Houston is a shithole. Okay, so I grew up on, like, the Mississippi River, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. And, dude, equally as gross. Like. What the fuck? There's a bunch of trolls here. Uh, Don't worry about it. Okay, well, I'm gonna make this person go away. Oh, you go you away. go for so, it. You have at okay, it. Well, goodbye. Peace out. St stupid person. Peace Bye. out. Wait, message what? to me. No, I want the whole person gone. Yeah, why'd you do that? How do I? I'm gonna make Here, it. Here, I got it, dude. I got it. Okay. Beep, boop, boop. You're a fucking douchebag, and you're deleted from my channel now. Oh my de what de de okay, this is probably another one that should go to sleep. Cash your bedtime, Gary 
Switch games. <laughs> Bye. Go away. I it's didn't, just I been, didn't... It's just like song titles and shit. And I already put him on timeout once, so he didn't learn his lesson. Man, why people gotta be fucking shit smears? Yeah. We're just trying to chill at okay, a bar. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, this person. Who that? It's the same one that you just hid the thing. Uh, no, put never mind. Matt, there, got, yeah. Matt, Matt got to it before I did. You don't have to worry about that. You don't even have to, like, acknowledge it. Yeah, okay. Because when you do it, wastes, like, fucking oh, live stream time. Ah, fair enough. Just, yeah. I'll just do it then. Yeah, and it invalidates them. When you're like, true, when you're like, oh, oh my god, a uh, troll, like, on airtime while we're chatting. Sense, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. fuck them. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, the SC831MTG says, I homeschool my kids in Oregon. I'm all about them having experiences. <clears throat> we road trip to Cali and Arizona. I've been thinking that slowly showing them the slabs would be good for them on a day trip. Would that be okay? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, actually, SC, I was homeschooled myself uh, my entire life. Um, yeah, I'm a homeschool kid. I'll be right back. All I'll right. take the stage. All right. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, I'm, I'm a homeschool kid and growing up, people would always ask me like, Oh, do you, did you ever feel like you missed out on school or anything like that? And honestly, I can't say that I did because I don't have any point of reference whatsoever. Uh, true. I literally never went to public school. Um, I was homeschooled all the way from whatever the earliest, uh, earliest school age is all the way through high school. Kindergarten. You know, I, yeah. I I, gra- I I graduated high school, uh, and I got like a, a little um, GED, and then because the GED was not like state sanctioned, um, a few months after my my graduation, I went and took the uh, California High School Proficiency Exam, and I tested out, so I got my legitimate GED that mm-hmm. way. Um, uh, Scott, something, homeschooling is totally legal. Yes, uh, it is. Then why would it not be? Um, I was homeschooled for a short amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did your parents do, like, the co-op thing? Like, okay, so I, other... I grew up super Christian. Same. Yeah, me too. Um, and, um, for a part of my homeschooling, I guess, uh, I don't know it was weird like there it wasn't really homeschooling because they sent me to this church where they did like group oh it's not legal in scotland hmm interesting oh that sucks mm-hmm. homeschooling that's yeah weird. um interesting. that's kind of fucking uh totalitarian yeah like, scott opinion. mcd that's are you though. are you in scotland yeah, like are, are you in scotland they've been ruled by the sword for as long as anybody's been yeah what the fuck? Uh, we are drinking. I'm just drinking beer. Uh, and uh, beer, wine. Yeah, other people are drinking <laughs> wine or tequila or whiskey. I'm just sticking to beer for tonight because, um, you know, I don't know. I just I just want to be chill. I'm I don't, I'm drinking straight tequila. Well, you have a higher alcohol tolerance than I do, though. I very much do. Yeah. Yeah. I have like a heroic alcohol. Talk. Scottish through and through. All right, cool. Okay, that's cool. Uh, nice to see you from Scotland. It's always yeah. cool to have um, people in the chat that are from other countries. Yeah. Super cool. I'd like to. I'd like to see. I'd like to go see. Uh, I'd like to go see Scotland someday. Yeah, I really would. Oh, Kessler. Kessler's not not bad. Uh, hell yeah, Hank. A few beers are pretty pretty awesome. Our homeschooling is fine in Australia, depending on your circumstances. You have Cheers, to apply, though. Okay. That's kind of well, interesting. Yeah, and see, what, what my parents did is we joined, uh, we jo- they joined up with a bunch of other families that also did homeschooling. I love reading the comments. Uh, and one <laughs> yeah, of the families yeah. filed a like with the state um, to become their own independent study program. Uh, and so that that family was, according to the, the structure on paper, uh, that was our principal. Uh, and then all the regular parents uh, were just teachers. Uh, ironically enough, and this is where shit gets really weird, uh, that same family that the, the, the father was my principal in high school, uh, <laughs> I ended up marrying his daughter. 
Hmm. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> and it, uh, what happened? Uh, other game. Uh, and it didn't didn't work out, you know. But I don't regret the experience. Um, I still no, talk I to her every once in a while, you know. Yeah, you can't. But it's it's yeah, kind of kind of ironic. Positive. Yeah, it's it's kind of ironic. We can solicit comments. <laughs> Let's see. Nice. Uh, what's y'all name? Uh, I'm Andrew. Jeez. Obviously, this is Cornelius and uh, Travis, Travis and Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. We've got a few others here uh, that don't wish to be on camera as well. Mm, fair enough. Uh, Matt the Butcher, it's about somewhere around 80 degrees right now. Earlier today, it was like about, I would I would guess it probably got up to 95 degrees. Possibly, yeah. It felt really nice today. It did. Uh, compared to how it was this summer. I'm acclimated to Alaska this yeah. summer, so it's... No, I was I was yeah. actually able to do some physical work and get some things actually done around the place, which I had been able to. We all got some shit done today. It was I, amazing. It was, it was so hot during the summer, I couldn't I couldn't do any work here. It was, thank you for your You know, I, yeah, I couldn't. Awesome. I just, uh, I had to just uh, sit here and, and do nothing, really. <laughs> you know, um, Venom Ocelot, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's it's starting to cool down. It's it's. I think today's weather was really fucking nice. Honestly, you know, I I think it was. I think it was great. And I'm I'm definitely excited for this upcoming winter season. Uh, the weather's going to be even nicer, and uh, we're we're going to get a ton of shit done around here. I We've already so. gotten. We're like so ahead of schedule. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Jambo's going to be sweet. Uh, the baby doll heads are actually right, basically behind where the camera is. They're over there. Oh, and yeah. Over and there. The all over. So cool. Yeah, so we, we yeah, tried know, to... I like that a that's lot. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we originally tried to... Uh, uh, tried to put the camera up there for tonight's live stream. Like, up I, I, there, but I got, it just didn't. I got frustrated working. and just gave up on it and just put it back in the same spot as last week. Uh, Victoriano oh, requests Victoriano, if you can play some guitar. Um, Victoriano just also donated $20. Oh yeah, money. excellent. Hell yeah, thanks. Um, I actually would be very happy to go get my guitar and play something for you. Um, so I guess I'll go do that. Oh, in, here's, in actually, here's a really good question. Uh, I follow you through your Alaskan adventure now back at the slabs. Are you glad to be back at the slabs? And do you prefer Alaska temperatures or slab temperatures? Um, you know, that's a good question. Um, uh, one thing that I am very good at, uh, that I'm passionate about is extremes, especially extremes in, um, uh, like climate. Uh, so I spent three summers here in Slab City where it gets above 128 degrees in the summer. Mm. And, um, hey, I've, thanks, Brad. I grew up, appreciate in, that. I grew up in Minnesota where it gets very, very fucking cold. The coldest temperature I've seen in Minnesota was probably about negative 45 degrees. Was um, that during your trip? No, that's in Minnesota. Oh, Minnesota. Okay, that's right. No, that, I, I okay. was in Alaska in the summer. Ah, that's The right. summer was between 40 and 60 degrees. Sometimes uh, in, in Fairbanks at one point, it got like above 70, almost 80 degrees. And people were like, oh my God, it's so fucking hot. <laughs> I'm dying. And I'm like, you guys. Come on, now. you guys. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I enjoy um, like between zero and a hundred degrees. I'm comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's that's yeah. just me. Oh, that's not a normal thing. Jose right, Sanders though, Journeys says, "Corn, do you want to collaborate one day?" I'll collaborate on what? I'm, I'm I'm assuming music. All right. I guess. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go grab my guitar if you want to keep an eye on the comments. Right. Yeah, um, would you be, Oops. would you be willing to help me find a cigarette? Oh, wow. Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, Elizabeth Crown, um, we are, uh, I'm just drinking beer, there's my beer over there, uh, and other people have been drinking uh, wine, or uh, tequila, whiskey. or whiskey. Um, Nevea thirteen sixteen. That's not this channel. Um, I've 
I've met Freeman. He's pretty cool. Um, he he does his own thing, you know. Um, he's uh, he doesn't stay here at the library, but he's he's pretty cool. I got no problems with him. He he plays some uh, he plays some pretty good music. I've seen him play at the range. Freeman, I haven't heard of that fellow. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. He's really young. Um, well, from my center, he's like 23 or something. Um, I'm, I'm old ish. Uh, oh, Reese, let's see. I know it's a question for corn, but I've also done a lot of hitchhiking in my life. Um, and my answer would be if someone stops to give me a ride and I get bad vibes from them, I just don't get in the vehicle. You know, you could always, you always turn down rides for sure. You know? Um, you know, it's just turn down rides Definitely. or, or tell them like you're only going one exit or two exits, something like that. I've had a couple of crazy experiences where I did that. You know, I got in the vehicle and then it turned out the fucking driver was a fucking meth head or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Starts freaking out. And I just, one time I was in Texas hitchhiking West from Houston on I-10. No, I was hitchhiking from San Antonio. It's a long hitch. It's a long road, uh, and uh, freaking uh, but yeah. Basically, Reese, that's that's basically it. Just be like, nah, man, I'm not getting in your fucking car. That's about that's about all it is. Yeah. Um, sure. Or if you do, you could be like, hey, man, that's that's where I'm going. That that exit right there. You know, try to stay uh, stay out of, you know, get out of the vehicle as soon as possible. Um, Hey Richard. All right. Hey, I'm drinking, uh, I'm drinking any ice. Boom. <laughs> uh, good evening. J Marshall Stein. Corn will be back in just a second. They went to go get their, uh, their guitar. Oh, Hey, so yesterday was national coming out day. And uh, I don't know, I've, I've never publicly come out on YouTube, I guess, but I've always been pretty straightforward about it. But in case you didn't know, I'm a fucking genderqueer, pansexual, polyamorous anarchist. I'm coming out as an anarchist, mostly. <laughs> hey. Cheers to that. Yeah, and I guess since we're, since we're on the subject of it, you know, I was, I was, you know, thinking about that. As well, because I saw the posts for National Coming Out Day and shit. Um, I kind of wonder if any. I don't. I haven't seen any of my family in here, but it doesn't really matter. I uh, I've recent re- recently realized over the past like two years that I'm not straight. Uh, I consider myself heteroflexible. You know, I've, I have had a couple of uh, really really excellent experiences with male body people, and a lot of really excellent experiences with female body people. Um, you know, I, I currently prefer female body people for relationships and, and sexy times. But if the right dude comes along, I wouldn't be opposed to it. Hey, man. Companionship. Fuck mm-hmm. yeah. Companionship. You know, I feel like everybody is at least a little flexible with their... I think so, yeah. Companionship. Oh. Yeah, the reason yeah. I use the word heteroflexible is because I'm much more attracted to female body people than I am to male body people. This is not... Oh, it's not. Yeah, my strings are all fucked. Oh, um, is it because of the change in the weather? Or no, something? it's just because they're old. Ah. Hey, if anybody wants to send guitar strings. <laughs> Ernie Balls. Yep, yep. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Jose Sanders Journeys uh, asks, how much is the Wi-Fi there? It really, I mean, it's just like anywhere else. It depends on what, what carrier, what service for Wi-Fi you have, you know? Um, you know, I've, I've heard of people paying anywhere between like 40 or 60 bucks a month up to like 150 bucks a month, depending on what they have. Um, Jimmy the Hobo, it is not raining here. It is not. Uh, how much is it to stay there? Um, 
it technically doesn't cost anything. Uh, Jose, it doesn't technically cost anything except uh, the work you're willing to put into creating your own space uh, or to contributing to a space that you feel like you fit in with. Um, also, just whatever it costs to take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Reese A. had a question for you while you were grabbing your guitar. And yeah. I, I gave them my answer, but the question was, um, what do you do if you are hitchhiking and you get a really bad vibe from somebody that offers you a ride? You just turn them down. Yeah. Keep walking. Yep. Keep walking. Yep. Oh, uh, Scott, uh, digging the clay out, I, I kind of had to put that project on hold for a minute because it got really hot during the summer for, for me, and I uh, I just could not work in the day, and I can't see at night. So I've kind of had to put it on hold, and uh, as soon as it calms down a little bit, we're, we're getting ready for the Dirty Scouts Jamboree right now, so we're, uh, you know, we're really busy, but... Um, once, once I'm slightly less busy, I'm going to continue that. I've been producing uh, Adobe Bricks. I still have yet to make a video about that on my channel. That's going to be um, good. Yeah, I'm really excited about that, actually. They look great. Um, uh, you know, and, and they're really... <laughs> I got it. Um, yeah, it, it is, it's definitely a mission, Scott. Um and oh uh what did i do in the marines i was a parachute rigger uh i packed parachutes for uh cargo drops hey thanks jay marshall jay marshall Stein. Yeah, thank just, you so much yeah just donated 10 bucks Fuck yeah. um actually as far as as far as camp goonies uh i posted a video about that on my channel which is uh wasteland librarian can i, can I put a link yeah go for it okay uh, and while you're doing that I'm going to sing you guys a song. Woo! Uh, let's see. Um, let me... Oh, let's... Okay. Uh... I bang on the door because you won't let me in. You're sick and tired of me reeking of gin. Lock all the doors from the front to the back. Left me a note telling me I should pack. I walk in the door and the fellas all cheer. Woo! Order me up a whiskey and beer. You ask me why I am writing this poem. Some call it tavern, but I call it home. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Fuck you. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Pour my beer down the sink. I've got more in the trunk. Fuck you, I'm drunk, fuck you, fuck you, I'm drunk, and I'm going to be drunk till the next time I'm drunk. You've given me okay. the option, See you, Gary. Yeah, I must choose. We don't care. Between you and the liquor, then I'll, I'll take the booze. Jump on to Western, down to the south side. Well, sit down and exercise my Irish pride. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Fuck you, fuck you, I'm drunk. Pour my beer down the sink. I've got more in the trunk. Fuck you, I'm drunk. Fuck you, fuck you, I'm drunk. And I'm going to be drunk till the next time I'm drunk. Ah, uh, thanks, Sonya. Sonya Bilberry says, "Fuck you." <laughs> fuck you. I'm drunk, fuck you, fuck you, I'm drunk Pour my beer down the sink, I've got more in the trunk Fuck you, I'm drunk, fuck you, fuck you, I'm drunk And I'm going to be drunk till the next time I'm drunk I'm drunk <laughs> ah, Thanks, John John McGrew, John McGrew says fan-fucking-tastic <laughs> This is not in tune, right? Uh, uh, but my, my my phone is being used for internet, and that's also my tuner. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Also, my strings are just fucked. Um, James, oh uh, yeah, we act, we have. Hey, fuck you from Australia. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you too, buddy. <laughs> um, you guys ever heard of Mischief Brew? Yeah, actually. Yeah, we love Mischief. Oh Brew. yeah, and I, actually, I recently discovered Mischief Brew only like two months ago. I've been blasting honestly. them since I got back. I was a very, very sheltered. As a child, 
He grew up uh, Christian. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I love Mischief Brew now. Like their 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 shit is the shit. Uh, I think what, my favorite song by them, I currently is uh, "Children Play with Matches." I love that song. Love that song. Where's my phone? Mm. I don't know. Up there? Right here. There it is. Multi. I don't know on mine. Okay. We could probably just switch. Uh, switch the cord. Okay. So now that I'm back in seventy-six percent of your videos, subjects that you would like to see from here in Slab City, just. You know, as people that watch my channel or are just getting into my channel or whatever. <laughs> Somebody's bitching out Gary Stevens. Who is Gary? We already removed him. I thought so. I thought we did. Oh, too. there he is right there. I like soft woman's voice. Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. He's still there. He's still there. That's okay. Don't feed the trolls. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Their their only validation for their sad existence is people that they don't know getting them, fucking yeah. mad that they're yeah. like there. Yeah, right. Don't feed the trolls. Yes, yeah. exactly. I think if we ignore uh, them, they'll eventually go away. Yeah, they gotta okay. go. Right. To my guitar. So yeah, like I said, my notebook uh, was lost, which is sad. Yeah, I hope um, they fucking get that back to you. I believe that it will get back. I just don't know when. Right. Uh, Priorities. Talking to you about marine shit. Where'd it go? Uh, somebody. Who was it? Uh, let's see. Um, oh shit. Where'd it go? Somebody was. Somebody was talking to me about marine shit, and then I don't know where it went. Oh, it was close. <laughs> somebody said, "Fuck you from Brawley." Hey, hey, man. Nice. Come out and hang out anytime. No shit. Oh, shit. Don't know where it went. Well, uh, uh, yes, yeah, so, well, somebody was telling me about what unit they were in or something. Oh, former 0311. There he is, James R. All right, fuck yeah, man. Semper Fi. Oh, okay. Oh, 124. All right. Yeah, I was with uh, I was with Combat Logistics Regiment Two Seven out of Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, was that dude from Raleigh. Cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, do we ever hang out with straight edges? Would they be welcome? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean everybody's welcome. As long as they're not asshole. assholes. Yeah, I'll totally. Be an asshole. Yeah. Hang out with all well, those people. Yeah, just I mean, just because we like to drink doesn't mean everyone has to. Yeah, fucking straight edge kids are welcome. You know what's cool about straight edge kids is, uh, you know, there's more weed for me to smoke. <laughs> I don't have to share it with them. So we, we appreciate you guys for that. Yeah, I actually really like straight edge kids because, like, <laughs> I don't like to share my booze and drink, uh, my, my my drink and my smoke, you know? All right. Uh, how much are strings? Ah, uh, John McGree, I don't know how much strings are. You, it probably depends on where you get them. Uh, for a pack of strings, uh... It costs ten bucks or less for a basic pack of acoustic strings, and uh, like I said earlier in the live stream, um, I'm working on putting up my Amazon wish list again, which does include strings. So I guess I could give you that link, um, but I was about to play guitar. <laughs> let's see. Do it. Okay. Well, let's see here. I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, We're back. Right Sorry, guys. I was, I was able to post. Uh, oh shit! Cheap um, island. Fucking Bob's in the chat. Oh, who's Bob? Know, Bob. <laughs> Bob Walls. Cheap RV living. Oh, cool. So, <laughs> hey, corn. Who's your buddies? Oh well, we we've already been hey, introduced Bob. earlier, but uh, um, this is my friend Andrew, who's been taking care of the library for the summer. Hello. And this is Sydney. And this is Travis. And we've got a couple other people off camera um, just chilling. Uh, nice. All right, Achilles. Uh, good night. 
Uh, Achilles 1776, thank you for joining us. You've been, yeah. you've been great, man. Yeah, or, nice to see or you. person, dude. I call everybody dude because I grew up in Southern California. <laughs> Even Matt said Oh, Sonny Son Bilberry says, uh, nice. oh, remember the Slane Castle. All right, make sure uh, there's an E at the end of that. S-L-A-N-E, Slane Castle, <laughs> Irish whiskey. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Um, Sonia Bilberry, if I send weed, will you get it? Um, yes. Yeah, I mean, as, as long as you package it correctly and send it to the right address. <laughs> we would love that. That would be <laughs> awesome. Yes, please. Cool. Uh, oh, Jay says, Wasteland Librarian, if I send you a camera, would you make videos more often? Um, I would definitely try. Uh, I'm currently working with like a, a knockoff of a GoPro that somebody gifted me. Uh, thanks, Matt. Uh, <laughs> And it, it works okay. Um, my main thing right now is my, my, my laptop is kind of a piece of garbage. Um, the camera is okay. Uh, the audio quality is, is less than I'd prefer it to be. Um, but if I had a, a better laptop, I could get a lot more done. Um, and I've just been so busy with physical projects around here that uh, I, haven't, I haven't been able to, to do anything, any video things. Um, cause, uh, fucking, we're, we're trying to get ready for the upcoming season and for the 2018 Dirty Scout, uh, Squat the Planet Dirty Scouts Jamboree. You know, so we've been, we've been very physically busy. Hmm. Oh, dude, yeah, Matt, that would, that would fucking rock. You taking that Honestly. Mobile? Yeah. Mobile Who video that? I did. What'd you pour for? Um, uh, yeah, man, Are that would be that would be cool as shit. Jameson, or, yeah, seven, seven. Really? Well, Jay, if you if you wanted to do that, I would be like eternally grateful. Most definitely, put a shout out to you on the video. Uh, that would be that would be cool. Uh, and Sonya, uh, yes, that would be awesome. Well, <laughs> the um, the yeah, well, Matt, Matt, my cell phone sucks balls. It's a horrible, awful piece of shit from Walmart, and the screen's cracked, so I can't even, I can't type the P. Like, in order to type the letter P, I have to use the swipe feature, uh, the swipe feature, and type the word that starts with P. That damn P. <laughs> All other letters work. the border of utopia, I'll toast to anarchy. Woo! I'm fire and rock, I'm coming home to you. I've never played this song before, uh, but that would be a good one to learn. Okay. Not good. That's uh, Mischief Brew. Roll me through the gates of hell. Yay! Uh, I haven't had a chance to work on that one. I was just gonna try and see if I could play it off. Uh, off yeah, that is true, Matt. Um, I've just been I've been too busy to worry about that right now. Like, my phone works for what I use it for. Um, but uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. We work with what we got. Uh, Jose Sanders Journeys, um, my, my channel is Wasteland Librarian. Uh, Cornelius posted a link to my channel a few minutes ago, so if you scroll up in the comments, uh, you can, you can get a link to my channel. Alright, it's shot o'clock, you motherfuckers. Shot o'clock! Shot o'clock! Shot o'clock! Uh, Sonya, there are laws, actually. Um, every, uh, state, local, and federal law still applies in Slab City. Um, the, the only difference is that most of the time here, people don't call the police when also, they have a problem. Also, autonomous law. That too, yeah. Uh, so there actually, there's, right. there's lots of laws here. Right. Um, but we, we, if we have a problem with somebody, we tell them. Yeah. All of you Drops. watching, all of you watching. Cheers. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of shit that says that, oh, Slab City is lawless, blah, blah, blah. Totally, totally untrue. There are actually probably more laws here than there would be uh, in a regular, like, society, like if you lived in a city. Well, it's just that people are free to um, be their own law because that's autonomy, right? Yeah. Self-governance in the yeah, space exactly. that you occupy. So, yeah, you can't just go and fuck around with people um, without any consequences. Uh, Sonia, no, yes, weed is legal now because uh, we're in California, and I think it was either okay. last year or the year before, 
California um, legalized recreational cannabis. So yeah, weed is totally legal, hundred percent. True story. Yep. Yep. But yeah, so yeah, weed's legal. Um, and yeah, anybody that wants to send us some, feel free. Uh, Gay. Yeah. You're not going to be able to answer any more questions. I'm fucking done. Oh, okay. I don't give a fuck about any of you. Just kidding, I love you guys. <laughs> Lol. I want to Maybe I should cry for help. Maybe I should. Oh, hey guys. Heck, yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> this is shit. Okay, hold on. You should start halfway through. Oh, uh, I did. Okay. <laughs> this is how I show my love. Made it in my mind because. Blame it on the ADD, baby. <laughs> Blame it on my own sick pride. Blame it on the ADD. So, 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 maybe I should cry for her. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah. Uh, if you all come out here uh, and get the the, uh, the pleasure of seeing Cornelius at the range, and the, they happen to do the that pleasure. song, uh, it's it's always enjoyable. Yeah, the honor of seeing Corn at the range. Uh, and they they do that song. It's your civic duty to just scream out anything that rhymes with sale. Anything that rhymes with sale. Just like you've been doing. Pretty much. Uh, As loud as you possibly fucking can. Yeah, you guys nailed it. This is awesome. (laughs) Dale. (laughs) Dale. Uh, Yeah, Matt was a true fucking player there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) He's still going. He is. (laughs) Oh, dude, you broke somebody's speaker. (laughs) William, I'm sorry about your speaker. Wait, I should ah! type it. <laughs> Sorry about your speaker! Somebody said something about the loudness. Like, My bad! As if anybody else could hear us. Uh, I'm so sorry about your speaker! <laughs> sorry about your speaker. <laughs> oh, I got a good one. Okay, okay, Matt, now you're just talking fucking nonsense. <laughs> Matt, Matt, are you boofing words again? Matt's yeah. boofing shit. Matt's dude. boofing words. Oh, Matt, are you boofing? He's just, no, he's boofing oh, letters man. and then shooting out. Holy shit. Know. They're, they're we real have a lot words. of comments here. Lail isn't a word. All right, Matt, oh, oh, lail yeah. is not a word. That's oh, not, Matt. Matt. Don't make me get the 12 pound dictionary. The rest what? of it was. We do have a uh, 12 pound dictionary. Yeah, I know. It's one of my favorite books in here. Kale is Love a word, yes, but you just Kale, yeah, you can't Kale. move Kale. right onto Lale. Gotta skip Lale. Trying to get over the great big hill of hope. For destination. destination. <laughs> yeah, alright. Keep going. I realized quickly when the last year the life is all part of this brotherhood of hope. Oh, whatever, whatever that, that means. means. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> and so our Christ sometimes yeah. realizes yeah. it. Yeah. Just, just, just to get, get it on. What? 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 What's going on? Yeah. All right. And I said, hey, yeah, 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 Institution and I pray Oh my God, do I pray I pray every single day for evolution One, two, three, and so I cry sometimes I'm lying in bed just to get it all out in my head I'm feeling a little peculiar And so I wait in the morning and I step outside And I take a deep breath and I get real high And I scream the top of my lungs What's going on? And I say, hey, yeah, yeah Oh, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. Library is a library 
Earth Sandwich! Where else are you allowed in the library at this hour of night? Yeah, right? <laughs> right, this is the only one, though, I thought. Uh, Sonya, there, there's, there's been a lot of fires here, just not at the library, because we're careful about shit. Yeah, fuck fires. fires we put dangerous. out fires. Fires are dangerous. Yep. Oh, man. This is, yeah. Matt, you got that right. This is how we fucking roll. Uh, yeah. If you can't Whoa. hang, you can't hang. Sorry about it. Yeah. It is what it is. But if you can, you're very welcome. We yell, we yell randomly and a lot, and then we'll get uh, out of again. <laughs> Apparently, we broke more than one person's speaker. <laughs> we broke at least two people's speaker. I'm sorry! I think that's like a badge of honor. <laughs> <laughs> you all owe me a new Bluetooth oh, speaker. Man. Like, uh, um, maybe they should just make Bluetooth speakers uh, better. punk capable. Better. Yeah, right? Just better. Oh, man. <laughs> Like, they don't break after a fucking <laughs> three minutes of One years. jam sesh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, Matt, Matt is right. He says, uh, he tagged the guy that, that said that we broke his Bluetooth speaker. Matt says, what a way for a speaker to go out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Woo! Oh, what? The, that's, that's three. That that's speaker is three. going to Valhalla. Three. <laughs> I have counted three of you on the comments that said that we broke your speaker tonight. And I'm not sorry. Uh, I, I, I I feel a little bit bad about the speaker itself, but I mean, it was, was it not worth it? Boof it. Boof the speaker! <laughs> okay. I can't remember. I can't remember my own song right now. What about the Scottish? The Scottish oh, guy? yeah, hey. You guys want to hear a song about a Scottish guy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, who was it from Scotland? I forget. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey. It was a Scot, a Scottish guy. Yeah. Oh, Lewis. All, all of you who, whose speakers got blown out during this jam session should just send them to us. We'll make an art art display out of them. Yeah, that would be awesome. If you send your, uh, they're not gonna be able to hear us though. Oh fuck! Hold on, I'll type it. Okay, type it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna play a song about us. It's, it's a, a fucking. What is it? What am I trying to say? Traditional? It's not a traditional. It's a folk art. Uh, it's a folk Scottish song. Anyway, it's about a penis. <laughs> well, it's got me clad and killed. Left the bar when evening fair. Left. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, you can tell. Okay. Obviously, I've drank a lot of tequila. All right, hold on. I'm gonna take another swell here before I do this song. I remember it now, though. <laughs> Hi, Sydney. Howdy, cool. How are you doing so I'm far? I'm fucking awesome. How yeah, are you? I'm great. Great. Are you having a good time here at the library? Fuck yeah. Yeah, Why you've been, not? been a huge help here, dude. All right, all right, all right. I, got it. I, I sent the message. Good. To all those folks, and I know you can't hear it, hear us right now because we blew out your speakers, but if you send it, your blow, uh, blown out speakers. Scott MCD, no, this is a great song about Scottish people. Hold on now, it's a, it's a good one. It's, it's it's one of my favorites. It's a good one. It's not unflattering, it's it's, it's a flattering song. It's funny, but it's, it's flattering. But hold on, I'm taking a swill of tequila. Because I also, uh, anyway, fucking, fuck you. Here you go, cheers. You just wait. Alright, I got this one now. Okay, that's all I needed was a little liquid focus. There you go. Well, Scotsman clad and killed left the bar one evening fair. No one could tell by how he walked that he drunk more than his share. He fumbled around until he could no longer keep his feet. They stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Ring ding diddle little eye yo, ring ding diddle yo. He stumbled off into the grass to sleep beside the street. About that time, a few young and lovely girls just happened by. And so one said to the other with a twinkle in her eye, 
The unsleeping Scotsman's a strong and handsome build. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath the kilt. Ring ding diddle diddle audio, ring ding diddle audio. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath the kilt. They crept up on that sleeping Scotsman, quiet as could be. And lifted up his kilt about an inch so they could see. And there behold for them to view beneath his Scottish skirt was nothing more than God graced him with upon his breast. Ring ding diddle diddle ring ding diddle diddle was nothing more than God graced him with upon his breast. They marveled for a moment, then one said we must be gone. Let's leave our friend a present before we move along. Skip, they tied a blue silk ribbon, tied into a bow around the body star of the Scotsman's kilted lift and show. Ring ding diddle little lady oh, ring ding diddle yo oh, oh, around the body star of the Scotsman's kilted lift and show. The Scotsman, uh, the Scotsman walked to nature's call and stumbled toward the trees. He lifted up his kilt and he gawks at what he sees. And in a startled voice he says to what's before his eyes, Oh lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you won first prize. Ring ding dilly lady oh, ring ding dilly lady oh, oh lad, I don't know where you've been, but I see you won first prize. <laughs> see, first prize. Great song. The Scotsman Dick won first prize. It was a blue ribbon. It was a like, blue ribbon, blue I mean, ribbon penis. Fucking blue ribbon. Like, highest award. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral of the story is you pass out drunk and women will fondle your penis. <laughs> if you're a Scotsman, where are you killed? And they will give you a blue ribbon. It's an award. It's, it really is. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Jay, the, the dig is still going for the Adobe House. I put it in a hole during the summer because it was just too hot. Man, corn. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do a pirates that don't do anything. Oh, uh, uh, let me let me see if I can oh, look it up and just play it. Hold on, I'll see if I can if I'll see if it's within my skill level to play. I'm pretty sure um, it is. It might be pirates. I I used to watch Veggie Tales when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. And that was my favorite song out of the whole the whole Veggie Tales lineup. And I know that there's a really fantastic cover of that song that's called The Anarchists Who Don't Do Anything, and I love it. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, but I have never played the song before, so I'm just going to look up the basic chords. So let's see if it's within my skill level. I mean, it's a pretty simple song. Oh, it is. Oh, it's very simple. Oh, we might... Oh, uh, shit. Hold on. We are the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you we don't do anything. We don't do anything. We don't do anything. And well, I've never been to Greenland and I've never been to Denver. I've never buried treasure in St. Louis or St. Paul. And I've never been to Moscow. I've never been to Tampa. And I've never been to Boston in the fall. Cause we're the, the pirates who don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. And lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We don't do anything. We don't do anything! And I'll never host a wind sail, and I'll never swap the poop deck. And I'll never be a star raider, and never sail, no. And I've never walked the gangplank, and I've never owned a parrot. And I've never been to Boston in the fall, cause I wanna, we're the... I wanna do the next verses. You wanna do the next verses? Yeah, I'll do okay, the next ones. you do the next ones. Okay. Ready? Uh... Let's do the chorus Yeah, together. yeah. Cause we're the, the pirates who don't, don't do anything. We, we just sit at home and lie around. And, and if you ask us to do anything, we'll just, just tell you. 
just tell you we don't do anything. All right, your turn. Uh, yeah, so this right, is my can prior you, can experience. You read this? I, I, I can, yeah. Well, I've never plucked a rooster. I'm not too good at ping pong. And I've never thrown my mashed potatoes up against the wall. And I've never kissed a chipmunk. And I've never gotten head lice. And I've never been to Boston in the fall. All right, well, you got more. Here, uh, check this oh, out. Oh, ready? wait, ready? pirate ready? things. Pir right. Okay, right, right, right okay. I gotta do pirate things. Okay, pirate things. Let's go, let's do it. Well, I've never licked a spark plug, and I've never sniffed a stink plug, and I've never painted daisies on a big red rubber oh, ball, and I've never bathed in yogurt, and I don't look good in leggings! You just don't <laughs> get it. I, I guess not. I'll keep trying. And I've never been to Boston in the fall. Alright, ready? Here we go. Cause we're the pirates, we don't do anything. We just stay at home and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you. We, we, we don't do anything. We don't do anything. We don't do anything. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we don't. We just stay home. And lie around. <laughs> I've never uh -huh. hoisted a mainsail. I haven't. I don't look good in leggings. I don't think I've ever tried wearing leggings. And I've never painted. I've never painted daisies on a big. Red that I definitely haven't. I haven't done. Uh, I that's, have, that's not even pirate shit. No, it's not. The song. That's Part cucumber song. shit. It is cucumber. Cucumber. Shit. cucumber shit. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the shit that cucumbers do. That's straight cucumber shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Cucumbers. You know what? 420 boof it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh huh. But, uh huh. I mean, I. Matt, I'll learn to do the tap room range. I, I used to be all about <laughs> on that song. Am I a cucumber? Nancy don't care. Who comes in her It's the den of violence. Debauchery and sin, so come take your drink and drown your sorrows, and ours will be gone till tomorrow. Uh, we'll have no regrets and live for today at Nancy's Harbor Cafe. That's a good one. Yeah, I, I appreciate that one. <laughs> All right. I really do love that song, though. That's a good the, one. The, the pirates who don't do anything. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's, it's, it's one classic. Yeah. Classic. Classic Veggie Tales. Classic. Classic fucking Larry. Classic Larry. <laughs> Who's Larry? Uh. Fuck. This has been a good night. <laughs> In Cornelius's desert library. Hey, hey, what's library. a library? I don't know what, I don't know what a library is. Library. Library. <laughs> Sounds fancy. Yeah, it does sound fancy. <laughs> Thanks, says, Brad. Arg, I've been liking your music. <laughs> Straight from the library. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we do okay. weird shit here. Sometimes we do weird pirates. Sometimes we turn into pirates because we are pirates, but we extra turn into them. And then we try to we try to hide the piracy, but. Because we can get in trouble with the government nowadays. Yeah. Sometimes I sing about bathing in yogurt. Oh, yeah? And the fact that I haven't I've done never it. heard you, you sing about bathing in yogurt. You literally just did. Um, it was, it was oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, Andrew <laughs> bathes in yogurt, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I'm not Lewis, we don't have any late fees. No late fees, no library cards. Hey, I'm going to put my guitar down because I'm too drunk to guitar. Whoa. I'm just going to abuse the privilege. <laughs> and I'm going to yell at all of you people and, and say things that doesn't, it don't, it don't need to be said. Doesn't doesn't matter. It don't need yeah. to be said. Uh. Would you like another shot? Don't go close to me, whiskey. You, you do that. Alright. Where did the rest of my fucking... Oh, Andrew, do you want a shot? 
Nothing. It's whiskey. Uh, I know, but I've been drinking beer all night, so yeah. I'll, I'll pass on that one. I know. Do the I beers. Because knowing, knowing myself, like, if I drank shots of liquor... Alright, right, you fuckers. Like, you hit me like that. Pour a shot. Who's drinking? You got... It's drink time. No, hold on. Let's let's give them, like, ten seconds to pour a shot. True. Okay. Well, maybe thirty. We'll be some curious. people have to go get their booze. Get your booze. Put it in a, in a, in a vessel. Yeah, some kind of receptacle. And we will... Like this. Yes. Like these beautiful receptacles, which we... Oh, which we have. Oh, John, don't worry. We'll, we're, we're, we're waiting for, for some of the fans that that might be a little further from their booze than we are from ours. <laughs> we're holding it. Because we're the pirates. Don't do anything. We're we here don't, waiting. We don't, we don't even drink like We pirates. just stay at just home work. and lie around. And if you ask us to do anything, we'll just tell you that we don't do anything. We don't do we, we don't do anything. <laughs> I All legitimately right. have actually never kissed a chipmunk though. I but, have, but I have licked a spark plug. You know, I I'm have. Not, I, I I'm have, not sure if I have. I have done that. All right, you fuck asses, ready? Hey, one, two, one, two, make time. Three, cheers! cheers. Go. Yeah. That's definitely tequila. Huh. Oh, there goes our Whoa! Uh, Don't worry, I'll go get you some garlic salt. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to bury you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, earlier today, I was chilling at the bar, and I'm like, Andrew, bring me some salt and limes. And he was like, okay. And he brings me limes. And garlic salt. <laughs> For the tequila. <laughs> what, would like, you, what would you have done, though, if I brought you just, like, a, a, an amount of garlic salt in a container like this, instead of bringing you the container that said garlic And I actually tried to, like, like what, use that. How would you react? I would have grabbed your lapel, or whatever, I would have been like, Andrew! And I would have <laughs> just been dying laughing, being like, ah, garlic salt! <laughs> I mean, have you ever tried it though? I would have been like, uh, you know, like a maniac. You know when Homer Simpson chokes Bart? Simpson? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, ah, oh, it's like really funny, but it's actually like really not that funny because it's like you know domestic abuse and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It would have been kind of like that. I would have been like, ah, uh, oh, and you would have been like, ah. Oh, oh. um, Louis Batista asks, can tequila be checked out at the library? Uh, bring tequila uh-huh. with you. Bring enough to share. Hmm. Hey, Whoa. motherfuckers! Who's left here? Why? Why are you even here? Like, yeah, how many? How many? Oh, there's 56 people still watching this. That's pretty cool. Wow, wow. you guys are, are troopers. Guys are, are crazy. No, they're just chilling. The troopers. We're Look all at chilling. Look at all my shit. There's me nice. like 20 seconds ago doing stupid. That's shit. That's not 20 seconds ago. That's from the beginning of the video. Cause that's when I was still eating. Oh, the Scotsman kill is kind of funny, but also kind of sexual assault. Again, I totally agree with you. Yeah. It is it is sexual assault. Yeah, no, I, I agree as well. Like, these chicks fucking, like, walk up on this guy and, like, fucking, like, mess with his genitals. Yeah, they attach something to his genitals. Yeah, I totally it's... agree. But it's an old, like, it's an old traditional song. This is the kind of shit that people found acceptable, like, back in the day. It's like, oh, it's cool if it's being happened to a guy. Because, you know, it's flattering. Or we whatever. know better now. Yeah, we know better now. Like, shit. if you woke up and you had some shit tied around your dick, you might be actually kind of alarmed. Like, you might be like, oh be. my god, like, I, I what the be. fuck? Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. But I'm, back in the day, for whatever reason, that was totally okay, <laughs> I guess. You know, and that's, I don't think that's right. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd go around asking all my friends, like, what happened last night? Like, holy shit, guys, like, who... Who was I hanging out with last night? Somebody tied some shit on my dick. And yeah. It's blue and it's a ribbon. And they tie in a bow. Like, what the fuck? Who does that? Yeah, I wouldn't be like, woo, I won. You know, like, I win the night. Like, good job, me. <laughs> I would be like, holy fuck, somebody molested me. I'd be like, shit, should I go get tested? <laughs> like, do yeah. I need to go get a fucking yeah. STD test or something? Like, right. It would be legitimately concerning. Yeah, for sure, for sure. If I just woke up out of being black <laughs> but, out drunk. But back in the day, that was totally okay. Yeah. You know, if, if hot ladies touch your genitals, like, that's that's supposed to 
supposed to be a compliment, I guess. I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't mind if hot ladies touch my genitals, but I prefer them to ask first. But if you're passed out, you know, out, if I'm passed out, yeah, that's I can't, I can't say yes or no. You know, that's not cool. That's uh, <laughs> that's like the opposite of consent. Yeah, that's not consent. Oh, I got it. Okay, you fuck asses. What? I don't even. You know what? It's bar night, and I'm drunk. Who else is drunk? Anybody I, else drunk? I am. Are you? Are right. you? I'm. I'm a good. Yeah, fair amount of drunk. I'm not like stupid drunk, but I'm pretty drunk. I'm doing all right since all I've been drinking is beer. That's chill. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a good night for beer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. Well, what should we do here? Should we cut these fuck asses off, or should we continue to entertain them? On for an hour and a half. Okay, we could go for another half hour. We could, yeah. Um, give us some suggestions, guys. There's uh, there's 52 of you still watching. Um, so, yeah, what do you guys want to talk about? Yeah, what do you guys want to see here? I guess we already asked what they're up to on a Friday night. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Victoria. Truth or dare. Thank you. Truth or Appreciate dare? That. Okay, what's your okay? Truth or dare? I yeah. I choose to yeah. fucking ignore any of those. Yeah, but I'm, if I'm you not come interested. up with a good one, then not interested. Well, yeah, thank you, Victoriana. Word, thank you, Victoriana. That's really very cool of you. Mm. Say hello, Catwoman. Thanks for joining us. Oh, now there's only fifty-one. We chased another one away. No, there's fifty-two again. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm not going to be doing hula hooping. I I don't and have the coordination to hula hoop We're not going to be doing a fucking truth or dare. Yeah. I, I'm not going to be snorting garlic shit. Who said that? Somebody said, Scott snort says garlic. snort Oh, garlic. no. That's no. That's no, good. no spin the bottle. We don't have any bottles that will spin. And either way, you know, like, if I wanted <laughs> to kiss somebody, I would just kiss them. I wouldn't wait for a fucking... Oh, thank you, Louis. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that's really you. That's badass. Um, we'll, we'll probably buy booze with that money. Sorry. Eh. Not sorry. Rock, paper, scissors. I don't know. I wish we had some pogs. You want to play some rock, paper, scissors? We could. Alright, whoever loses has to, um... Uh... This is quickly turning into truth or dare. No, no, that's not mm. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Triangle, rock, paper, scissors. You know, none of do any of us twerk? Do do you twerk? I've never done it. Okay, none of us twerk. Not Sorry in the, not. It. I can't in these pants. I okay, have to, I have scariest pants. experience ever. Huh? Story time. Okay. Guess I guess this could be a thing. Who should go first? Um, I can't even think of anything that is like the scariest experience ever. Uh, well. Fuck. Um, I guess I'll start then. Um, my scariest experience ever was, uh, when I was deployed to Iraq with the Marine Corps in 2008. Uh, I went on one convoy. You want to trade spots with me? Sure. I went on a, on a convoy from one base to another, uh, to go pick up some, um, pick up, I, I guess they were shutting down the second base, and so I went to, um, Went with the, the trucks to go and, uh, like, pack up the other base and bring it back to the larger base that I was stationed at. And uh, on the way back, um, one of the trucks had not tied their load down properly. And so uh, the entire convoy had to stop. And uh, so there's this one truck that ties load down properly. And um, there was a... Uh, car, or there, it was a, it was kind of like a two-lane road, uh, they, they drive on the opposite side in Iraq, uh, they drive on, well, the opposite side of the U.S., they drive on the left of the road in Iraq, and, uh, so we would go down the, the highway, and the other, the, the highway going the opposite direction was probably about a, uh, maybe a little more than a quarter mile away, um, enough to where we could clearly see the vehicles on it, but we couldn't really see the drivers. And, uh, so, while the entire 
convoy trucks I was in was stopped, uh, this little white Honda made a right-hand turn off the highway, just across the desert, just driving on the dirt. And uh, not like speeding toward us, but you know, driving at a pretty decent rate, and uh, stopped about, mm, I don't know, 100 feet from where I was standing. Uh, close enough that I made eye contact with the driver, and uh, the uh, the guy that was in the same truck as me was uh, one rank higher, and so he and he had been deployed before I hadn't. You know, it was my my first and only deployment. I didn't know what to expect, uh, and uh, he uh, he had a, a he had a, uh, a machine gun, a light machine gun. I had a, an M4. Um, and this car stops about 100 feet uh, away from where I'm standing. And he looks to his right at me. I look to my left at him. And he goes, uh, if that car drives one foot further, shoot him in the head. Shoot that motherfucker in the head. I'm going for the engine block. Because his, his weapon could put out a lot more, a lot more bullets than mine could. So he goes, if that car moves one foot forward, I'm putting I'm I'm putting my rounds through the engine block and you are now instructed to to shoot the driver in the head. Shoot to kill, don't ask questions. Um we're just working that bullshit. Uh and are so you a veteran too? I No. I stood me. there. Oh, I thought you were talking. Uh, you no, know, with, I I'm not sure if you guys can see me. Okay, they can see me. I'm I stood there with there. my rifle like this. A lot of people were just frozen. Fire. I was, I was in full gear, I was just totally frozen, because uh, I had no idea what to do, my finger was on the trigger, and I had my instructions. So we, we had no way of telling what was inside that vehicle. Uh, there was only one driver, and so that worried us even more. Uh, I, I, I made eye contact with the driver, uh, and I saw, like, in, in his eyes, uh, I saw hesitation. Uh, and he put the car in reverse after... I honestly, to this day, could not tell you how long it was. I couldn't tell you. Uh, it was probably only five minutes, but it, it felt like it felt like hours. Uh, it felt like hours. And uh, I put the car in reverse, backed up, did a U-turn, went back to the highway. Uh, and that's the moment when I realized that I had stopped breathing out of stress. Uh, and, um, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> I want to talk about scariest experiences of, of people's lives. Uh, that was mine. Because I, for all I know, I could have been 100 feet away from just becoming goop. Just mush, nothing. Mush. Just mm -hmm. uh, Actually, in the, in the military, they have a term for it. They call it pink mist. Because mm -hmm. pink mist is what happens to the human body. Uh, that's an internet term as well. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, but that's that's what happens to the human body when you, when you get exploded. Um... Kind of a terrifying thought. Yeah, a little bit. So that was that 